you doing though? Just chilling. I'm just setting up my uh, little thing here, and then I should be good. Your little thing? Yeah, my little thing. Mm. Oh, dang it. Stay over here. I don't <laughs> want you. Uh, so how did you fix your resolution problem that you were having with this game? Uh, What do you mean? Because I tried putting this in windowed. So and I'm girl, I'm in uh, windowed borderless right now, and I have it on my second monitor. Yeah, whenever I play this game in like borderless windowed and stuff, it always puts it at, like a really weird resolution. And if I put it back to 1080, it like messes up how it looks in OBS. Yeah, I don't know, honestly. Which I remember you having a problem with when you first streamed this. You you were having like weird resolution problems. Yeah, that was uh. The, the the issue was more so like I kept on changing to a specific weird size. Yeah, uh, that's what happens to me. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, I'm all set now. It'll be like 1920 by like 1009 or something. Yeah, it was it was <laughs> weird. But yeah, I'm I'm actually really happy with my setup right now. So, like, since I'm do I'm streaming in ultra <clears throat> wide screen mode now, and I had a chat on the right. As well, you know, it says my name and then also has with you as well. So it's actually a nice little, like, it gives all the information you need. Oh, and plus, good. And since I'm doing the the thing that you said you do, like with the projector of OBS, that's what I'm doing now. So I have that. Oh, on I only my... do that with console, to be fair. I don't do that with the Windows ah. games. So, I, yeah, I do that since I have two monitors, so I can just have the game that's in the normal resolution on the right side. And then since I have the... Uh, room when I have it scale up to that, put the chat on the right of it on on it. So then it fills up my whole main screen. And basically, oh, since it's on that, the same mon, sounds pretty good. Yeah, it actually is really nice. It looks like exactly like in high resolution as if I'm like playing it. And there's no delay since it's all like you know instant. Um, so. did you hear the weird startup music when this booted up today? I did not know. We was just playing the normal music for you? I was... I think I even had the audio muted at that time since I was testing my starting oh, student screen. Okay. Since I have it uh, now on my starting student screen, it auto-plays my uh, video with the music. So now... Oh, okay, well, the, the game, when you start it up, it, it has really strange music. Uh, it's not the normal, like, music. You know the screen with, like, Zekrom on it? Yeah, yeah. But I have Rush It's Ram. not the normal music on it yeah yeah wait you have rushy ram on yours i think it's rushy ram i i'm i can't remember right now <laughs> i think it switches between them oh okay maybe it does actually yeah all I right i think we're heading in this oh wait 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 I, I think i have to do new mallville since i completely forgot that was the thing wait why is this trainer fighting me did i not fight, beat this guy before uh oh this might be a rematch yeah you have i think wait. since you have to go right since I already did a bunch of the right, I didn't know there was this whole area. Yes, that's right. Yeah, you've already gone over here. Yeah, and I went all the way up to the rival fight, and then I lost to the rival fight, and that's when I ended last stream, I believe. Okay, it's coming back to me because it. I don't think it's been that long since we last played, but I don't remember anything from the last one anymore, other than that it was like five hours, and I, think yeah. I was very sleepy by the end of it. Yeah, it was a good time, though. <clears throat> oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Been uh, learning a lot of things coming back to streaming. It's been uh, pretty interesting getting stuff uh, how I want it now. I'm just going to sponge any information you learn off of you. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, never learning anything. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, we, we all have to learn stuff at some point by some different people. It's all We're all learning, basically. Well, I think the thing is you're very um, you're very keen to do your research on things. Yeah. Um, I like to, but I'm one of those people that's like not that busy, but or constantly talks themselves out of things by being like, I don't have enough time. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I always like I like looking into stuff. And then after mm -hmm. I look into stuff, I am more so like. All right, so this is how you do it. And then I get frustrated because the, that's like multiple years old. And so that's not actually how you do it now. And then I get... <laughs> that, that's my... Have you made a secret base yet, by the way? Because I really want to know if you can see my secret base. I haven't. I haven't even talked to that NPC that gives you the secret base stuff. 
So I have to wait, go wait, back. Wait, you're going to New Mallville right now, right? Yeah, I'm already in the building now. Was was my base in the tree? Uh, I'll check when I walk by. I saw a vine on it. That that's my base. Oh, okay. I'll check it out then. That would have to be my base because th there'd be no other reason for there to be the vine there. Yeah, I'll check that. Well, that's cool. It might uh, so it just works by default. Yeah, it might be based off like groups you're in or like, you know, teams. And then you could see your other teams uh, sort of. Stuff. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, like teams or like maybe like people on your friends list or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes I sense. I wonder what they do if uh, people have like overlapping ones. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe you can. It'll you click on it and it'll ask which one you want to go into. Maybe oh, that would maybe. make the most sense. Uh, right. I get into a fight with a fisherman and I'm like, ah, I'll put Groval in front. Problem solved. First thing he sends out, God damn Tentacool! I am sick of this Pokemon. <laughs> Right, right me... back to the last stream. I remember that from last stream. I remember getting really fed up with the sight of Tentacool. But yeah. Oh, you can't accept it. Okay. <clears throat> God dang it. I keep on hitting the same button. All right, so let me use a repel here. All right. Also, let me do that again. One thing okay. I remember uh, saying in the last stream that I'm really looking forward to is uh, I should get four evolutions in this oh stream. yeah yeah that's, gonna, that's be, uh, gonna be really cool yeah you have a lot of uh things to look forward to <clears throat> i have a few i think as well i have to heal my rolls my rolls keeps dying as as i learned recently rolls is basically like it has weaker stats than any starter pokemon so like by 100 bst it's weaker so that's why it sucks so bad that does explain a lot. Even as someone that doesn't really understand things like BST, I, I get the impression that's bad. Yeah, generally, like the best, the best Pokemon are generally at 600 BST. To get a, an example, so being so like that's legendary. So 600 starters are around like I think it's like 200 or whatever 250 around there. I'm spitballing. I can't remember the exact number, but. Like, uh, Waltz is like a hundred something, so that's like really bad. So, I don't think, um, Curly is much better either. No, Curly is probably, I think it, it expands in like more of the uh, like offensive, but not really defensive. Right. My Curly is one level away from evolving. Oh, right, I forgot repels. I forget how I always forget how repels work. I activate a repel. And then I'm like, I forget. If you have a fainted Pokemon in the front, it uh, it doesn't work. So let me put my Starlax. There we go. I should have known. I saw the sprite that's normally like a guitarist. Mm -hmm. So I prepared for more Magnemites. This oh, one so. random trainer just used Brave Bird, by the way. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, obviously it's 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 now uh bud trainer because this is the road to four tree which is a flying gym so i should have really known but i didn't right right this taylor is just spamming brave bud that is such a crazy move for a random trainer to have agreed he's like level 20 taylor yeah i mean yeah <laughs> I uh, was a level 20 braver. I mean, I think I mean, they're all fair uh, based on real movesets. So, I mean, at some point in the games, I guess they you can get it that way. Yeah, right. so right. where's that electric stone? That's what I'm mainly want from here. So I can evolve my uh, Magnemite. And then Ooh, since I inch is like really high level to evolve, right? uh yes i think that's i think it's not high level i think it's a, a slow exp gain i uh, think i'll have to have a look in the pokedex because i have a feeling that trap inch isn't evolving anytime soon i mean you do get a le relatively late game so like by the desert is usually i think where you normally can find it yeah just after like the fourth gym so yeah 
I think it's... It's like 30... I, I think it's one of those ones that like it takes pretty long for the, for the first of all. And then the second of all is only like another 10 levels afterwards. Right, right. Um... Well, if you want a link, fair yep. enough. It's a link. Uh, 35 for Trapping to Evolve into Vibrava. I'm pretty sure I remember it being 45 for Flygon, so yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit... It's not too far away, but it's relatively uh, close. It's it's a pretty long time to have like a base unevolved Pokemon. Yeah. Because see those are pretty fragile. I mean, you could, uh, you could in the meantime, uh, get a Eevee Light from the store if you have the cash, and then that will allow you to boost up its power and all yeah. that. So, it was a really, like, that's the kind of thing I would not normally do. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't ever really a find it normally in the gameplay, so it's like, since I don't even know where you would even find them naturally in this game. Like, I think Eevee Light was an addition, like, Gen 5, maybe? I forget, actually. Let me look real quick. Oh, was no. I don't oh wait! Fight this guy. Oh wait! Yeah, never mind. I decided uh, not to do the googling of the uh, mid game <laughs> game now. Is I realized like Firefox sort of like throttles a little bit on uh the, like it my does. performance. Yeah, a little it's bit. It's insane. Yeah. I was watching Vinny's stream last night, and every time I clicked on ch uh, the like chat to type in it, um, my uh, CPU shot up to like a hundred percent. And I was yeah. just with Firefox open. I know Twitch, like, for example, like, if I am I have Twitch open on it, uh, it will, like, if I close the tab, my whole Firefox will freeze for, like, a good, like, two or three seconds until it lets up and, like, okay. <laughs> I don't normally watch Twitch streams, so I didn't know that. This was a recent thing. I haven't experienced this at, like, at all in the past multiple years. It's only oh, just okay. started. Okay. So I, I don't know why. Maybe it's, like, because of ad block working against stuff on it or i don't i i mean i even have ad block like turned off on twitch so i don't even know why yeah i've never experienced like i would click the chat message and i'd like go to type and like his whole stream would start like chugging like i mm -hmm. you know he's like cutting out and stuff and i was like what is happening i, I do that it was i do know side. like uh i think it's just, it's probably the browser itself that's having issues because like for example when everyone started spamming um waste uh this was another newer thing the whole browser locked up and the stream froze like on my end and on other people's ends too because other people were saying like my stream froze what the hell and like yeah it's all the waste that people were sending through which i think is possibly like since there's so many messages coming through it's overloading the browser and how much data it's retrieving so I think it's something it's, like that. There's not really a better browser option right now than Firefox, though, is there? Not really. I mean, you you hit your. I mean, there are, but your there's alternatives of like, okay, this is has these issues. This has these issues. There's no like well-rounded other than Firefox in the most part. And if you do go to somewhere else other than Chrome, usually you're not going to get as many of the like quality of life like uh, add-ons that people have that make and all that so yeah, i don't really like chrome yeah i'll never Chrome also has memory problems right yeah that also is a big memory sink i personally don't like chrome like i i used to use it for a while but then it just started like they kept on adding new, more and more stuff that i was just not into like they were for example in the recent thing they made it so like ad block on it they're trying to remove it entirely like they don't want ad block at all and, I mean, I understand because, you know, they run YouTube, for example. So, if their main browser basically has it built in as, like, add-ons, I mean, like, yeah, they want to kill that because that's hurting their business. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, oh, God. It's like, at least Firefox is like, yeah, we're, we have a uh, ad block built in or they're going to be, like, putting in a stronger ad block built into the service itself. Which is, like, that's good. Like, I mean, of course, like, having it optional, like, I think it's you have to turn it on manually, which is good as well. Because you don't want everyone to have it, because then it hurts everyone unfairly. But if a per if a user decides, okay, I want to ad block and block these ads I don't want to deal with, that's fine. And I think that it's also lenient, and a lenient uh, ad block, where it's not, it's only 
blocking the more like obnoxious ones like like fandom has fandom wikis have like really obnoxious like video ads that autoplay all oh, that they sure do like that <laughs> that's that's the stuff that's like really bad like i can i can stomach banner ads banner ads don't bother me because it's like oh that's cool it's a little banner ad i don't click on it yeah there but yeah that's my main thing like if the ads are like chill and like maybe i might be interested in it i'll check it out maybe yeah i didn't mind when youtube used to have uh little banner ads underneath the videos mm -hmm. same all right i'm evolving my magnemite oh wait is magnemite not evolved via electric stone <laughs> am i uh, did i gaslight myself wait no i think it's like level 28 or something oh i, th I uh, literally let me let me have a look for you yeah i'm um, actually looking right now um yeah level 30. 30 oh god that's a long while wait what is my level right now on this guy 27 all right so not a long while and let me just check how does he evolve again oh wait wrong area all right and he evolves again via level up near a special magnetic field so that's in this building here it's gotta be I think it is. I think I read somewhere it's that it was. Flame charge. Oh, flame charge is physical, but it's less damage than aerial ace. That's why. Okay. I mean, all it's right. Stab. So I need to level it up three times, which isn't too bad. I like how <clears throat> it's like such a small thing, but because in this game you can pull up your stats right whilst you're learning a move i'm not really one for like i've never ever been the kind of player in pokemon to like pay attention to like whether their physical or special is better and i know that's something that i should really focus on but like it's just one of those things that it just kind of passed me by and i just go for oh this move does more damage but like this game actually makes it really easy to check their stats when you're learning a move yeah yeah it's honestly and, really uh, nice um this is sort of like okay so this guy is learning this blah 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 it's just a quick look i mean i know some people like it, in normal games they'll just have a little notebook and already down like this pokemon is special <laughs> leaning or whatever um and so yeah. you prioritize that with just writing it down and then you just look real quick okay yeah it's a good move to use or teach it but yeah yeah because my sableye was learning shadow claw mm-hmm and it already had Shadow Ball. And right. initially, I was like thinking to myself, like, well, Shadow Ball does more damage, but Shadow Ball's special. Shadow Claw is only 10 less damage, but it's physical. So I had a little look, and um, it seems like Sableye's base uh, stat is generally better physical over special. With only a 10 point difference, I thought, well, I should probably just teach a Shadow Claw. So I got rid of Shadow Ball for Shadow Claw. And that's just not the kind of thing that in Pokemon I would ordinarily ever do. Right. Because it's so easily approachable and accessible with this. Um, I actually take the time to do it. And I, I have to give them props for that. Yeah, yeah. It's honestly really, like, it's interesting how this is both, like, the most, like, like a really accessible play of, like, Pokemon. As well as just the fact that it's in a way the most like like hardest it's like more difficult but also easier i don't know it's, it's sort of interesting in that way yeah it's like it's difficult but it's difficult in a sense that like if you want to get good at it it provides you with a lot of tools to right yeah learn things i don't know how well this is going to carry over i don't know if i'm going to play other pokemon games and be able to like take note of these things and use this knowledge going forward but it's it's cool it's cool to know mm -hmm. also rain weakens fire moves doesn't it uh yes that's why so. flame charge isn't doing very much right this whole area is raining <clears throat> yep it's a very rainy area i wish we'd never met oh my god <laughs> That is an insane dialogue for beating someone in a battle. Also, uh, I know you said this last stream, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and um, <clears throat> respond to that now by saying, I 
love that the trainers aren't disguised in the grass so i can actually <laughs> yeah. see where they are i know it's so it's kind of nice that it's like it's like that it's not like the people that don't want to fight them they know where they are and i'm pretty sure the battles only start with them if you talk to them mm -hmm. uh and for the people that want to battle them i know where they all are and i can go up and fight each and every one of them there's probably a bunch of trainers in this grass i've never fought in my life <laughs> yeah I mean, it's it's sort of like a win-win in a way, but also like for some people, like oh, I want, I'm looking for items in here, but they can't find the item. No, I think the items are still hidden. Yeah, I haven't I haven't spotted any yet, but I'm only in the first this little patch of grass. I know this area is quite long. Mhm. Mm uh, magnemite with a sturdy. Why is I still never get? Why do all the balls get sturdy? Balls are sturdy. I mean, they are, but I mean, why isn't there like a triangle Pokemon? Like those are the most sturdy of sturdiest of all, like shapes. Dude, as soon as you said, "Why isn't there a triangle Pokemon?" That like blew my mind. I was like, "Wait a minute!" I know there isn't. I, I actually can't think well, of a single no. triangular Pokemon. There technically is one, uh, Garganackle in the recent gen. It's technically a pyramid. the uh, the minecraft cube dude oh right yeah i think that's really I think the i was thinking one. of i was thinking of barbarical ah uh, yeah yeah yeah. that's gen 5 yeah because i just realized that those two have very similar names yeah a little bit i like garganackles just to the fact that the name is like a play on the uh, the element of salt like the uh, acronym of it so Man, why is this place filled with so much, like, random encounters? Too many. Oh, what, New Morville? Yeah. I think that was towards the very end of the stream, and I was just squeezing it in, so I used repels the entire time I was in there and never bumped into one thing. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Magnemites and a lot of Voltorbs. And Magnemites have Sturdy, and Voltorbs have uh, Self-Destruct and Sturdy. That's right. I even looked up if there was anything special to bump into and got confirmation that it's just those two. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting EXP, which is going to help my um, Magnemite evolve, so... It's kind of like a grind area. Uh, what level is he at right now? Whoop, what a great match. Whoop. So he is about a little over 50%. So let me just do a few more oh, so counters. I think the item's up clear in the grass, too, because I just picked something up. Oh, cool. With the mimic circle, we mimic what you do. Oh no, mimics. Except they don't move in this, so it doesn't really work. <laughs> not yet implemented. Or no, it's a it's a function not implemented. It's still insane to me that Hoenn is the second gen they ever added to this, and it seems like the one that they've worked on the least. They really hate Gen 3, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> They must do. This Either that or it's just um, a lot. A little less. Yeah, a little less love put into it. I mean, I, it's, it feels I, like they haven't gone back to it since it was implemented, maybe. Probably. They probably more people were like, they probably did like polls like on the website. Like, do you want us to implement more features or do you want us to... Uh, add in a new region or a new pokemon and probably more people like we want the new region we want a new more pokemon and like okay well yeah i mean the, the next region they added after this was unova so yeah pretty huge step up i imagine that probably was a really big priority yeah makes sense Some, something across the water there. This is a healing house, isn't it? So what's nice with my setup I have, I have uh, Chatty open, and Chatty has an always on top option. So this allows me to have it over the uh, OBS capture thing. So now that I have, like, you know, on my main monitor, I have 
you know the setup but i also have that over like over that projection so i could see your chat on the top right corner while it's oh, nice. not on the stream itself so honestly really I nice take it fee bass is in the water here because there's a couple of trainers just floating around maybe <laughs> still wonder if they actually implemented those like tiles can you i don't know if i have feebas in my decks yet let me look sure. i don't i don't yeah i don't either i don't want to look it up though i don't want to just google it. it feels lame same i know technically like pulling up uh the decks in the game isn't that much different but like oh, you nice. know at least you've like battled one you've earned the right or whatever got thunderbolt that's a good move welcome back right hello sorry ah oh, tentacle there it is let's use this on Ooh, snorlax can learn it miss nido can learn it and Lebralts can learn it i mean I look as angry to see Tentacool as Tentacool does all the time. Let's see information on this. Okay. I'm looking right back at it with the exact same expression. I guess I could teach Ralts Thunderbolt. This would be decent. It's a 90 attacking, so it'll be a little more powerful than normal. I'll probably teach it. Yeah, over. Mine, mine, mine has Thunderbolt. Oh, nice. I thought it'd be really useful since there's not really any electric types I wanted to use in this gen. Might do it over confusion. So Psybeam is sort of like a better uh, just a confusion. What? Ryan, I think I saw you were playing Pokemon the other day. How where where are you up to now? Yeah, I'll do I that. think one of our people on our friends list actually came back onto the game for a little bit. Wow. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says he was on like two days ago. Wow. Wait, do, you, do you have the mirror B hand now? It looks it. Holy shit, you do. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Wait, isn't that a paid for cosmetic? I think it is, that's, actually. Actually, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. All right, I'm heading on over to you. Also, I have just battled the Feebas, so I can now look at the dex entry. All I right. don't know why. When I saw this fisherman by the side here, I thought to myself, he probably has the info I'm looking for. That's good. Also, is that someone? Chat. Oh, no, you can't see it because I'm in the way. Hang on. I'm going to move my little. No, I'm not because it's going to fuck up the whole stream. Uh, right where my guy is on my stream screen, uh, there is someone surfing on land. Yeah, I had that happen before. I think it's because if it's out of the your display screen, like if you're in a battle, it doesn't update the other characters like. Like models or sprites. Oh right, yeah, because they both just disappeared. Yeah, it's it's weird. Um, I saw that a few times. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, let's check Feebas's Pokedex entry now. That I actually have it. <laughs> this Linoon just used like a uh, like a four hit multi attack, and since I had Rocky Helmet, it kept on damaging it, uh, damaging itself with every hit. Th they might have implemented it because it says rarity special oh god why did they have and to there is that of all things there is a triangle of trainers as you can see oh they're probably fishing in one spot okay well i mean at least we can tell by the <laughs> trainers themselves yeah just look for the triangle of people fishing <laughs> but you need us you need a super rod which i don't have yet right right yeah i mean i got I it in the old regions i don't think i can use it though yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to have it in this region. That's... Yeah, I said unable to find item when I tried to use it. Uh, that's dumb. I wish the items like that you, you get to keep. But I mean, I understand why, because they're higher level mons when you use them. Ugh, um... Also, I forgot to heal. Oh, well. I might actually use Melodic because I was thinking about it just now. And now that I have uh, Trap Inch slash, well, future Flygon in my team i don't ne necessarily need swamp for a ground type and, that's fair uh melodic would then be my water type 
I really like melodic. I'm not... I've been thinking about it, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to use just starters on my team. Like, I've been enjoying it, but it feels kind of... It's kind of cheesy. I don't think. Should should I teach my Magnemite Magnet Rise? I'm trying to, it's a status. It all, it makes it levitate, meaning it can't be hit by certain moves. Uh, Ryan, please respond to his question. This guy plays Pokemon. Yeah, it's like, should I teach my Magnemite uh, Magnet Rise? I feel like it, it would be decent, but I'm not sure if I should or not. I don't know if he's still here, but hopefully he'll respond to you because... He'll know. Yeah, He'll know. yeah. I mean, I have... Currently on the move set, I have Mirror Shot, Thunderbolt, Electro Ball, and Spark. Fury Cut, I was... That's only 40 power. Okay, fuck that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna forget it. Because it's not really worth it in the long run. Alright, there we go. Didn't learn it. All right. Wiki Berry. And I can't believe they made they made a wiki before wiki was a thing. Here, I think wiki no wiki was probably Wikipedia was like far before. Yeah, that had to have existed when this game came out. Yeah, and so I think that was like it was made in the nineties, I think, and this was way after that by then. Oh, Grovile, what are we going to do with you? Roselia, Roselia. Also, I like how we're battling the same trainers, even though I already went through this whole route. I just skipped so many. Oh, right. Okay, I was going to say, why are you battling them? But yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> You have the Pokenav. I sure do. Thank you, Pokemon Ranger Catherine. I'll be sure to call you. I'm definitely not deleting your number as I walk away. <laughs> I have no clue what team I want to use for Hoenn. Uh, well, knowing you, uh, it's going to have Weezing on there. Uh, and then you will probably throw in, I don't know, Hariyama. The Viper. So Viper. Maybe Zangoose. Make? I don't know. You feel like you'd be a Zangoose enjoyer. Hmm, maybe. You're, it's either okay. or. People are usually one or the other. How am I doing, Brian? Am I winning? <laughs> Wh whale, whale, whale lord. I've never been a fan of whale lord. I feel it was always like a little too simple. Brian likes him big. So is this a healing station? I forget. Oh my god, why do you have so many wingles? Yeah, I don't know what to do with that house. I'm pretty sure that's where you get fly normally. Maybe. But no one gave it to me, so I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm sort of sad that they don't have the uh, the Pokemon do their cry noise when you talk to them. That is a shame. Like That's a really nice little thing and it's like man you remove it or well you didn't implement it it's a bummer also i'm heading back to heal so I, I didn't i forgot to heal my mono right almost all dead see i'm fighting a breloom right now and i'm kind of like man i should have just gone one of those <laughs> it's such a good pokemon oh wait didn't oh wait did may give me it actually it depends we're in we're playing technically this is emerald i think may gives you it in the Ruby Sapphire, maybe. Oh wait, no, yeah, it's after. It's after you beat the rival. I didn't beat the rival I don't yet. Remember. So. Oh yeah, that's why you ended up turning back, right? Yeah. It well, it killed me. So that's yeah. I got sent back. Oh. I am not making it through this route. Yeah, it's a tough route. It was a fun battle though when I did the. Uh, the uh, Weather Institute. <clears throat> I just was not ready for that rival battle, though. Oh, no. Parasol. I think this is normally a grass trainer. No. 
Goldine. Okay. No, I think Parasol is uh, just like a rich. They give you a decent money or something like that. It's either decent money or very like, uh, like nice Pokemon, like royalish, I guess. See, I was just thinking it was because it was raining. <laughs> that too. I mean, not all Pokemon, like, trainer archer types, they're not all exactly. Sometimes they'll just do it for flavor. Why can't I run I'll away from you your the tentacle? potential of me and my bud Pokemon. I'm sure you will, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that rhymed. Oh, boy, I wonder if this Swillow knows Brave Bud. Boy, I hope so. I wonder what other... I mean, you could get a Tropius. Tropius can fly. I do like Tropius. I don't think you were talking to me. Well, maybe you were. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually have anything in my team that would learn fly, so... I hadn't actually considered that. I never think about that move for some reason. And, and Tropius is like a, real, like a really odd choice, because why does it know fly? But apparently it can. I mean, technically it has it wings. wings. It... it Sort of. People don't really see them as wings. I don't normally see them as wings. They just look like, like you know, feather stuff. Doesn't it actually fly? Yeah, it does. In one of the games? It does. Like, I'm sure one of its idle animations in one of the games was it floating. Yeah, and when they did the flying battle gimmick thing. I hate that. I hate how many Pokemon just idly float. I I'm glad in the recent game they completely, like, they redid a lot of that stuff and fixed a lot of them up. Yeah. Since some of them are decent flying. I don't mind, like, Skarmory flying. That, like, looks good and is decent. But, like, Halucha, no. That does not work. Well, Tropius. <laughs> That's a good example of one that looks really off. Yeah, it looks off just due to the fact that Tropius looks like, like, you know, a dinosaur that's on land. Like, stands on four legs, not a flying, like... I, I and also the thing is hey, when it has wings. Oh, you found it nice. Is, and no, speaking, I'm find a trainer that has one. Oh, um, the, the thing that I have an issue with is like, if, if it's trying to be a dragon type, like or not type, a dragon. I don't believe is trope. I don't think tropies is dragon type at all. No. Yeah. So no, why it's grass is it, flying? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So why is it trying to be sort of like a dragon, like a since it's a dinosaur with wings? It's essentially like the design of what a dragon is. <laughs> it's well, always... I mean, a pterodactyl you wouldn't call a dragon, right? No, but that's not a dragon. That's not a dinosaur. A pterodactyl is not a dinosaur. No. <laughs> I'm not very educated, evidently. I mean, everyone gets that confused, so it's it's, it's fair. Uh, be it, they're actually. Oh, let's see. I can't, I, I keep on wanting to tab out, type it in. But no. Um, uh, basically, I pterodactyls are like... There's there's a far separation, I'm almost sure, between dinosaurs and the pterodactyls. Let me just look real quick. I'll do using my phone for this. Uh, That's what I tend to do when I play this game. Let's try. Dactyl isn't a dinosaur. All right, here it is. I'll put the musket in front and try this. <clears throat> yeah, so first off, the name itself. Every dinosaur name normally ends in uh, Soria. Uh, because that's that used to be its uh, the name of, of its order, P Pterosauria, which got changed into Paradactyl. Dactyl is sort of like the family name thing. So when you say give dactyl, that means you give the family. You know. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, they look like dinosaurs. You give dactyl. They just are two groups that are not the same, basically. Like humans and monkeys. Huh. Basi so they they share the same ancestors, but they're not the same species. That's generally the uh, core of it. Well, I'll be damned. Yep, 
it's a it's a fun little thing because you get taught that because oh you see pterodactyl with all the images of the other dinosaurs so it must be a dinosaur classic educational like gaslight <laughs> I mean, I always figured with Tropius, it was more like uh, it flaps its big leaf wings to float very mildly off the floor. <laughs> yeah. It could fly through the skies from city to city. Right. It's it's definitely a little like... Um... <clears throat> oh, I have a rare candy. I could use it that. It could like hover a little at best is what I would have said looking at it. Yeah, it, it, it could. Lycalia is evolving. Finally. Yo, nice. Yeah, mine is so every battle. far away from level what? up. What if my God of War still sucks? <laughs> it turns out it was me all along. What's, what level does Rolls of all that now? Uh, 30. 20. Oh, wait, no. 20. My bad. I thought you were asking about the other one. Yeah, I have two more levels on that. Uh, that one, it kept on being dead, so it never got EXP for so long. Wait, that was a Kinlaw? What the hell? Why does why does so many different types of trainers use the same overworld sprite? Alright, I'm testing this bad boy out straight away. Uh, side beam. See how this does. Okay, not bad. One shot of normal. That's good. Not the hardest opponent, but... Still more promising than what Kylie would have done. That yeah, have died. <laughs> oh, so yeah, let oh, me guys know if uh, the audio is good and all that. Still always, yeah, sure same about that. actually. I've always, I've always worried uh, when looking over VODs if um, a lizard might be a little too loud. I might have you up too loud. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I got the audio for you decent on my end now, since I basically, like, you're always usually at the same level, so I don't really have to tinker with that too often. Yeah, I don't mess with my volume at all. Normally it's okay. I do worry, sometimes I look at other people's streams. Um, back when I was doing thumbnails, this would happen a lot. Like, my videos would play uh, with the audio on, and I'd be like, whoa, why, why are my VODs like a little quieter than all the other videos i'm watching but i don't know if that's just like in my head and it's actually fine yeah i mean honestly like i try to play it where the audio is like not too loud but i mean sometimes i'd rather it be a little louder so that people can lower the volume but it, it i like to have it where it's like in the center where you can have it like the good volume is down the middle like 50 percent on the volume meter so that a, if a person feels like oh, i want to be a little louder they can move it or if i want to be a little quieter i can but my god of what is just one shotting everything this is amazing <laughs> well let this be the motivation that you need it's gonna be worth it in the end yeah hopefully <laughs> i mean we all already kind of knew the god of what was really good yeah it's that's why everyone has like a fondness, hopefully, for her or them. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> you you put in the work, you make you you slog through, and they they suck through the whole time, and then finally they get the final evolution, and then they, they rock the battle. That's what you want. I think it was very anyway. similar in Gen Seven with um. Salanda into Salazzle. Yeah, I think I, I remember using Salanda because I was like, haha, it'll be funny to use the Guna Pokemon. And then I used Salazzle and I was like, holy shit, this Pokemon is so good. Yeah, it's good. I, I, I just. Up, yeah, I. I finishing my playthrough, like, I really like this Pokemon now and I never really cared for it much before. Yeah. I personally don't not really a fan of the design. I feel like it, it's just like a little too, like, feminine in a way in the design. I mean, I understand that's the origin. It's supposed to be, you know, like a harem Pokemon. So, but it's like a little, like, it's a two on the nose for me, I guess you would say. Ah, it's great. You're being ridiculous. Why <laughs> does Kavana look so fed up in this game? It's like it goes sent out and it's like, you're going to one shot me, aren't you? I was <laughs> like, yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. Let's see if Magical Leaf does as much damage. It does. Wow. 
Why is every Team Aqua member using unevolved Pokemon? This is really weird. I think an annoyance of like, I wish the like the devs made it so the uh, EXP thing could just be all like, you can just quick spam through it when it, all your team members say EXP. I feel like that adds yeah. so much extra time onto like having to go through each single text. Yeah, if it just said like all your members gained number and then if anything had a boost that it could just separate that one out. Yeah, or like literally like in some of the modern games, if this shows like a screen pop on the right, they show like oh, yeah, that's how much. Good. Since that, that works, and I mean, it wouldn't be, I don't think that would be too hard to implement or at least like show it next to like once the battle is over, it shows on the right where next to your team members or something. I don't know. I must say, by the way, speaking of the newer ones, one thing when I was setting up my thumbnails that really bugged me when I got back to Violet that I forgot about, but I want to vent about this because it bugs me so much and I hope they don't keep it. I don't like the like free camera when you're doing battles. Why is that I exactly? Don't, I don't like the lack of like, oh, dynamic right. I... camera angles. Right, yeah. It, it feels so lackluster. It removes all of the impact from the battles. I think it technically it does, but you have to idle on the on the battle for it to start doing like. If you like... click the right stick in, and there's nothing obstructing the angle for it to cut to, ah, I then see. it will. But it's it's still I don't know. The yeah, it's a little that's janky. Just, it's not what it used to be. And I get why they did it. It's because one of the main complaints that like I've heard a lot with Pokemon is, is a lot like, oh, this takes too long. I don't want to sit through the same thing over and over again. But it's like, I don't know. That's part of just Pokemon. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's also like a lot of people feel like it, it's not seamless. And, and since it's an open world, it should be seamless and everything. You shouldn't be like, oh, you do a battle and then you're taken somewhere else. But then again, you still have yeah. egg hatching scenes, which are taking you to a completely different part of the map, technically. So, I mean, you're still doing I don't think it. I hatched a single egg in Gen 9, so I don't honestly know. Actually, it might have not been egg hatching. It might have been uh, evolution, because evolution screen, I believe, is different. But, yeah, it's... it's oh, no, the evolutions are the same thing. I think it's like a... Not free camera, but it's just like... I, there's one of them that I remember. It, they, it teleports the screen, like, underground, and it has, like, a... It has a texture behind it. And then it's like, oh, hey, it's hatching or it's evolving. I forget which one it was, but yeah. Okay. I mean, I still think that game was a little bit half baked in some areas, obviously. Like, I think everyone sort of agrees. There was like, there's some things that they were obviously rushing on. Like, for example, like, there is the whole, like, uh, placeholder thing where if you went into certain buildings, you could see, like, the uh, Pokeball, the first Mon that you have a. Uh, you caught out on the ground as it was a placeholder object. So, and it would always change. I don't know if we had this conversation before, but old Shelly or new Shelly? Who? The Aqua, uh, Aqua Admin. Oh, yeah. I like uh, the old, I think. I think both are good. I mean, yeah, they're both decent. They have different tastes. I just never really liked the new Aqua sort of the style that they went with. I just got into this battle and I just, I don't know. I yeah, just, I'm taking on Brendan oh yeah. now. I, f I forgot this was like uh, the same person because it's so, it's just a completely different person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I am going to, I'll dig. Why not? Amnesia. No, no, you, you, you can forget amnesia now. Good statement. Uh, that's kind of oxymoronic. Yeah, well, Marsh Tom wanted to learn amnesia, and that that in itself is <laughs> that's odd. Quite a statement. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I also know Magnemite. To learn. I have a mighty need to learn amnesia. So let me check something real quick. Let's see if I did oh. this right. You know what? I don't even care if Gardevoir gets knocked out by this Plantiana. This evolution, I stand by it, is... It's fucking insane. 
of the difference that this this one evolution has made for this Pokemon. It is it is so unbelievable. I have literally, if this thunder, okay, well, this Kavana just about managed to outspeed my Gardevoir, but otherwise, this Gardevoir, which is level thirty, same level as all of Shelly's Pokemon, it almost soloed the entire team. Wow. I wasn't even able to use Psybeam. I was using Thunderbolt, and it was just beating everything. I just want to see if <laughs> I broke something here. What a difference. So, one second. And type here. Disgustingly strong? What was that supposed to mean? All right, no. So, was it Sess and Sun? And doesn't seem it's not broken, so you're good to go. I love watching the characters slide across the floor. Oh my god. I know, so it's funny. so good. It's so good. Alright. There we go. They just cut all the budget for Hoenn. They re I mean, I think that's for the most... I think that was somewhat in the... Uh, in, in like Kanto and Johto for a little bit. But I don't think they ever really walked too often in those games. Which is why we've never really seen it, I don't think. Yeah. I wonder if that's going to be in Sinnoh and Unova. <laughs> Honestly, I probably... Alright. <clears throat> Railroad is a bit of a annoyance right now. I'll be dealing with that in a second. Mystic water. With Drew? Oh, my cargo. Ooh, that's an interesting spot for a secret base. What's that one look like? I know I would waste a lot of time quickly checking these out, but I'm just so... <laughs> I mean, this isn't a speed run. This is just this is just us playing Poke MMO because it's fun. Yeah, I'm not it's... really worried about how fast I'm being. Yeah, it's just a chill stream. Chill time. Alright. Now I can kill you with Surf. Oh my god. Um, did you... Did you? Oh, you probably went to bed, I'm sure. But did you catch Joel's stream after Vinny finished last night? I caught a little bit at the start, but then I went to bed. He did a Tuna Tuesday, and one of his chat members was because he finished the game. They had lined up like really fast, and they were like, "Play RuneScape and do fishing in that." <laughs> and he actually did, and like loads of chat joined in, and I was watching it. Like I remembered trying to revisit old school RuneScape, and it. It sucked. I don't know how I ever played it growing up. It was so boring. But, like, there was something about watching him and chat play it that was like, I kind of want to go back and play it now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I tried RuneScape, like, after, like, the whole thing. I never even heard of it until, like, oh, when was it? It was, like, 20, like, 2009, 2010, around there. And we share the same buff here? Yeah, it's like, I honestly completely... That's crazy. That went over my head, like, completely. Like, I wasn't really into MMOs in the first place, so that stuff never really touched me. Um, but when I tried it, I was like... I, I got completely, like, ir un like, irrationally, like, angry. Where they made me have to fish up shrimp in a river. I'm like shrimp are not from rivers shrimps are from the oceans and i got extremely upset and i closed the game and didn't touch it again that's actually what joel spent the entire stream doing but <laughs> yeah it's like it that just upset me for uh, some reason and i'm like that's really funny i don't know why that was the tipping point i mean i think i got annoyed with like the whole camera perspective stuff as well but that was the one thing that just like made me upset like no, I'm not gonna fish up shrimp in a river. Like, why don't why isn't there this fish? Why can't I like hunt fish in the river? Like, <laughs> it's really not that fun of a game. That was I. I've said I've told this story before on stream, but um, I'll tell it again. I'll just try to keep it really quick. Mm -hmm. When I was younger and I first discovered the internet, uh, I the first thing I got into was Neopets, and I didn't really know what else there was to do with the internet other than grab Sims mods and play Neopets. And I remember everyone around me didn't want to play Neopets. They wanted to play RuneScape. And I kind of caved and was like, all right, fine, I'll check it out. This is all people keep talking about. So I played it like a little, but like I never 
was able to get that into it because it's it's so slow it's so boring yeah I'm, um yeah for me i was like i started off like i was playing like different stuff um i did neopets webkins um i then did like i got into like pokemon creator which was like an another sort of pokemon mmo thing that was a website based um eventually i got into like uh, like FPS games that's like my bread and butter nowadays but like I did like a lot of like combat arms like combat arms was like that game I played so much like way too much like and I put too much money into it too um but overall though like my main like thing is like yeah I went through all that I never touched RuneScape I never heard of RuneScape and then I think I I eventually started playing like other games after like I got sick of playing like combat arms and FPS games, but I you know I played Call of Duty like usual and stuff like that. But yeah, that was sort of like how I started. I was mostly like a forum user. That's why like for the most part I barely even like play games as of late. I mean I'm playing Pokemon MMO of course, and I'm trying to get back into more so a lot more games. But yeah. It's just more so, like, I like being more creative than playing games at times. But I'm sort of seeing, like, the more creative side of, like, actually streaming stuff. So it's been actually very positive for me in that way. But, yeah. I, um... Oh, shit, I forgot to heal before Brendan. Uh... Yeah, that happened to me. So... Oh... This is gonna really suck. Mm-hmm. Oh, why does Pikachu um, no double kick? I might have just had an email come up that has uh, added something to tonight's stream list. Oh, what? The demo for Bobo Bay has just dropped. Yo, hell yeah. And I am very interested. For those not in the know... Uh, Bobo Bay is a like standalone Chow Garden attempt. Mm -hmm. I'm really interested in seeing how it turns out. Yeah, so it looks the demo awesome. just dropping. I might have to check that out. Yeah, that's that's actually really hype. That game looks so good. Very cute. I Very don't uh... honestly, remember it because I also had uh, Poglings. I think it was. Yeah, like Poglings is more its own visual thing. I feel like. Uh, a Bo uh, Baba or Boba is more so um, like it's a little more accurate and also like in the style of like like older games so it's like it feels like a little more nostalgic in a way but yeah it has like races like Child Garden races stuff like that so it's sort of really cool very excited also I beat Brendan so uh, I barely made I'm it. Not going to. I, I don't think I'm going to survive this. But yeah, I got fly, so thank God. <clears throat> oh, look who it is. Scott. What the fuck does he want? I don't know. He's here, though. He, we talked about some Wii U games for some reason. <laughs> Wait, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Got my hopes up. I was like, maybe they changed his dialogue. <laughs> That'd be funny. Hit me with your power cord. Victory is mine. Why do like, you want hey, me to? You heard of Wonderful 101? <laughs> no, what's that? <laughs> I don't want to see. No. <laughs> it's it's the a first, first Wii U game that came to mind. Yeah, it's one of the Platinum's games. I think it was. I think that one was pretty well received, right? That's it's one a of the cult... ones that still hasn't been ported, right? It's a cult hit game. And I think, yeah, I think it was never really ported. I think it got a sequel, though. I think 102, oh. Wonderful 102 or something like that. I don't know. That actually sounds vaguely familiar. Well, this guy had, like, one Pokemon, and it was a Magnetrick. And it's, like, one shot killed it. Like, Guitarist Fa Fabian. I love when you beat like a rival battle and then the trainers afterwards are just like pathetic. Yeah. And like I you'll mean... go through this rival battle and it will be insane. And then the very next fight, they just, they suck. 
All right, there we go. And now I can teach fly. Yeah, the town is literally right after. So, just a yeah, few trains. Yeah, I don't remember it being too far. I, I do remember it being pretty close to the Weather Institute. Also, That's why I always thought the healing at the Weather Institute was kind of strange. I always love that Deli Bird uh, has fly. Or it can learn fly, I mean. I might actually be able to beat Brendan. Nice. I might be all right here. I've got a trap inch, a combuskin, and a grovile left. They're all full health. He has Pikachu. I, I so. might honestly replace present because, I mean, I know it's his iconic move, but I just do not like <clears> the <throat> idea that he heals the enemy sometimes. Yeah, that uh, that Pikachu got one shot. <laughs> yeah, I think Pikachu... No, no, there was another Mon that got one shot on this team for me. Ooh, Grovile evolving. Yo, that guy, dude's like emo. Disappear, too. I did say this was gonna be an evolution stream, and he is evolution number two. All right. Groval, who was not the starter I chose, has now evolved. I feel like no other like game ever like replicated like for uh for a tree city like in Pokemon Shit, or anything. Except how it learns dra uh, dragon type moves. That's cool. Oh, uh, it's gotta be because of the the mega, moves, yeah. Though, right? Yeah, it's because of the mega as well. Uh, because it gets dragon type, so it wants to account for it. I think I'll teach him dual chop. Um, that could come in handy. What are you doing? There are Pokemon that evolve when you trade them. That's what I heard. You would be right. He's not a very good physical attacker, but I don't need assurance. Oh, so what does Amart have today? So I'll do it anyway. You got anything good? Any Brendan, cosmetics? Brendan's just standing there staring at my Yo! Pile. This guy's selling TMs. A whole bunch of them, too. A lot of good ones, too. Thanks, Brendan. I'll and be sure to use Fly with my Combuskin. And then you have Quash. Such a weird move. The user suppresses the target and makes the its move go last. Wow. I can't believe this Scott went on a whole monologue about Wii U games like that. I know! It's crazy! Septile got a kind of cool uh, follow spray, actually. Yeah, pretty cool. Might get... Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm not going to buy any of this. How may I serve you? Like? I remember the tree bases being pretty cool. Yeah, I, I think I remember that as well. Buy some... Wait, how many Ultra Balls do I have? I have zero, so let me grab a few. I'll buy five. I know um, I've already asked this question like a million times, but I have really bad memory. How come you don't have secret power? I skipped a trainer. You just press A on them though. I know, but I, I, I completely like walked past them. I think that I could actually get it from one of the, this guy here. Let's see. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you can go back and get it like, uh, no. really easy. Yeah, I mean, now that I have fly, yeah, definitely. So let me do that actually. Uh, fly, use fly, and go to Maville. Oh, there's a, a swarm of Whalemur uh, near Route 109. That does nothing for me, but I'm sure someone would really like to hear that. Yep. Why won't it let me fly? The hell? You don't have the uh, badge for it yet. Oh, right. I need the badge, right. It wasn't even telling me, like, oh, you need a badge. <laughs> it, it just, like, it opened up the map. What the hell? Oh, right, there's a Kecleon block in the way. Forgot about that. Yeah, because you already have one. Ha ha ha. I guess figure. they had to put them in the wild because of the way the Pokedex in this works. They didn't want people to like miss out right. on permanently. Oh, right. Kecleon's on this bridge. I always thought it was the other bridge. I always get these uh, bridges confused. I always appreciate this game's like sense of scale like with the bridges and such. Very unique. I, I know Gen 4 sort of does it, but I feel like Gen 4 does it really poorly because they're so huge. So you sort of like miss out on the scale. Of like how high, like high it is. Eh, 
Man, that ninjas getting a speed boost reminded me of my old Yanma. <laughs> what a cool guy. Kind of miss my Yan Mega. That thing was insane. Never used one in my life. Turned out it was a really cool Pokemon. Yeah, Yan Mega's honestly still one of my favorites. Like it's it's a I really cool had a design. fondness for Yanma. Mm -hmm. But I'd never use Yan Mega. I think Magnemite's about to hit 29. I'm gonna evolve it and then I'm gonna once I figure Yo. out this uh thing, I'll head back to New Maville and then do its thing. We got Blaziken! Yo, nice! Wants to learn Blaze Kick. Sorry, kid, you're gonna have to just stand there with your hand out whilst I decide if I want Blaze Kick or not. I definitely want Blaze Kick. Alright, let's see. Summary. He's 28. He's nearly at the next level. 301. So, two more kills. Why are there so many people in this grass? Oh. I got a shiny Yen Mega in the Ultra Wormhole hole stuff. It was super cool. What What do you mean, Ultra Wormhole stuff? In uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Because you can go. Um, Oh, yeah, I never played those. I think it's Sun and Moon, too. There's the wormhole stuff as well. You can go through and travel through them. Yeah, I, I haven't touched the post game. Everything you saw on stream was all I've played of that. Mm. I think Vinny did the post game, but I don't really remember those streams. That was way too long ago. Yeah, you were able to get, like, really cool stuff. Have I done everything down here? I think I have. Yes, the same. Okay, I just want to double check. Didn't want to like accidentally miss anything. Okay, so it's just this one trainer here who is a bug trainer. Uh, I suppose Blaziken. I might go trade my bike over so I can get all the little side bits done in this area. Oh no, I should probably get fly first because that'll make a. It'll make a way easier, yeah. And forth. Yeah, otherwise I gotta travel quite a bit. That's why I'm like doing this now, so I can get that, and then I can fly New Lawville, and then get the secret t uh, TM, evolve my Magnemite into a Magneton, and then end up Magneton into a Magnezone. I think regular Sun and Moon just had the look of stuff with the Ultra Beast. I don't know. I really, really don't remember. Well, Looker is really weird because I know he's quite an iconic character, but whenever he comes up, I'm what I always forget anything to do with him. It's very strange. I love He's Looker. He's actually an, an anomaly. Like, Looker's like one of my favorite like reoccurring characters. And then Ryan says he hates Looker. <laughs> <laughs> Two sides to every coin. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alright, so it might actually be... Two, one more mon. Wait, what the hell? So we are blazing. Oh my god, how many Calcleons are there? I guess we'll. Uh, I can't even get that TM, muscle. that item over there because there's a Calcleon block in my path. So I'm assuming from this place selling TMs, they don't sell any cosmetics. Are you re Are your Pokemon ready for a battle? Uh, yeah. Why not? Is it just TMs? It is. Okay. I always loved the Pokemon music in this game. Man, look, what does Kecleon's tongue do? Ow. It'd be cool to see your Ultra Sun Moon experience whenever you eventually do it, especially since it just runs much smoother than the OG games. Well, running smooth was never a problem because. Uh, I play them on Citra, <laughs> so they all run fine and uh, optimized and in, in, in a much better resolution. Kecleon but, is down. Unless you meant like gameplay wise, like the gameplay was smooth. In that case, right. yeah, I wouldn't have a clue. Now I am going to, since I finished that up. I was initially very tempted to play um, Gen 6 real soon, 
because of um, the Legends game that's coming out. But then I got the urge to play Infinite Fusion and started doing that instead. So Honestly, Gen 6 is... I feel like it's one of the weaker of the gens. I've always had that opinion, but... like I really I enjoyed it, but I think it's just like... It's a, it's a nostalgia type enjoyment. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I, I I know so many people hate the rivals in that game too. They couldn't they couldn't let you preview the furniture. They just have like heavy desk or in an all cap. Like what, what do they look like? I need to know. <laughs> I want to decorate my base, but I don't want to spend ninety thousand dollars on hard desk just for it to suck. I think the reason why they they had like they ran really badly is due to the fact that they were like optimized for the like the new 3ds which was a, a little more like it can handle that stuff well yeah like the like if you had like the original 3ds or just a normal 3ds it it ran really poorly i really don't like this gun just sniffed me Also, this uh, Kecleon just got like an ultra boosted. It used ancient power and got that ancient power buff, which is scary as all hell. So I'm throwing an ultra ball at this. Because if it can do that on one though. HP, then I'm catching it. What was that? Didn't you already have a Kecleon? Yeah, but this one just like almost like swept me. So I'm catching it. Oh, fair enough. That's a strong Kecleon. Yeah, it's it's like, like OP Kecleon. Like the fact that it actually procked on that ancient power, crazy. Because remember, ancient power it raises all the user stats at once. Arissa. That's not a real name. I know actually one uh, someone named that. Ooh, Ooh, me one someone. Clarissa that's ever existed. Okay, I will. You don't have to do that. It's okay. I believe you. Well, I don't believe you. How about them pickles? Why are there so many Kecleons? Oh, wait. Never mind. That wasn't a Kecleon. I was on my bike. <laughs> I, I went to ride my bike up a ladder. Of course, it's not going to let me. I want to ride my bicycle. Blaze kick. Also, I'm uh, doing a like I upped my uh, audio bit rate. I think it was for my the stream. Well, not the stream for the recording on my stream. So that that's actually like a little better now. As well as I think I I did a few tweaking with the bit rate of the video as well for the uh, for the recording. So it's higher bit rate compared to the stream. So that when I upload it, it'll be like really nice quality. I don't actually know what my settings for that are they could probably use improving since twitch itself only allows up to 6000 bit rate of for a video so i that's that's how it is but i decided to just for recording sake i doubled that so just as a test to see uh so then i can upload it to youtube and if it will look better or not and if it doesn't i could like the next time i'll stream i'll probably do it like i'll lower it a little bit to do a test and see how much of it a difference does it matter but yeah, I think I generally um, for recordings, I normally go for about 20. That's fair. It's like uh, I, I was I was doing a few tests um, and it's it, completely unnecessary for a game like this. Though. Yeah, for something like this. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like I'll probably put it like up that high for like, say, if I play like Call of Duty, because you need to have a good bit rate for that thing to not like. Yeah. Like eat vomit, <laughs> because that's that's really like bad looking when it's like that high, or that low. I mean, all right, I could have just used normal potion. But that's fair. Also, what's this type? Is this grass type? I think, or flying. Yeah, I think this is flying because we have bird keeper Eduardo. 
Eduardo is a funny name. I only ever known Edwards, not Eduardo's. When I think of Eduardo, I think of uh, Foster's home for imaginary friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. That's all I think of. Ah, uh, there's another one that pops in my head, Eduardo, but I can't think of the like what it's from. Eduardo, Eduardo. Oh, I know what that reminds me of. That reminds Ed, me Ed of a, and yeah, Eddie and Eddie. Yeah, I was about to say. Wait, really? I was being, <laughs> I was making a shitty joke. No, I was being for real. I was like Eduardo, Eduardo, and yeah, yeah, Ed, Ed and Eddie. I can't remember the what what the character is, but I remember them saying Eduardo. Uh, roll out Ed on. Boy. On Snorlax. That is a really good move. It becomes stronger each time it hits. Uh, Rock Tomb is a little... It's better, but it also... Mm. Ryan says Ed, Ed, and Eddie on Telemundo. <laughs> I don't really get what that means. But <laughs> it made me laugh still. I might replace Zen Headbutt, because Zen Headbutt, Which while it's decent... Me? Well, no, it gives us flinch. Mm, this is tough. It's a nice looking base, but I'm good. I mean, I mean, all of my moves here are really the solid. Fuck. This feels like a really like weirdly late part of the game to be finding a C dot in the wild. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, they are acorns. You find acorns all over the place. Oh, also, no, I I, I re an acorn. so I replaced the um. Uh, rock smash. Uh, not rock smash. What was it? It was uh, ancient power. I think it was. No, whatever it was. Uh, with rollout, because I feel like the other three are more essential to my move set. While rollout would replace the other rock move. Oh, now, what's the learn power quickly on you were talking about? Yeah, I got that confused. But no, I'm talking about my Snorlax. So. Telemundo is like Spanish cable TV. Oh, now I get it. That's good. It is raining. Yeah, I think I like this move set now for my Snorlax. Honestly, oh, it's a powerhouse. Wow, we. I know it's really nice. I'm gonna use that on my uh, Curlia when I get to it. Or is it's that Don changed Stone? your entire direction? Oh, we're all evolving. Wow, just just as I was saying it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go for a God of War. That changed your whole direction, huh? Yeah, I decided to go differently because you got uh God of War, so I'm like, I'll go with the Wait other one. a minute, don't you have a female? Yeah, you can still go the other way, I'm pretty sure. No, no, Galate is male only. Let me look here. Uh yeah, I got a female. I I mean, I don't know, maybe. Who knows? I'll look. I knows. I checked the Pokedex. Well, the Pokedex might lie. <laughs> Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I didn't check the Pokedex right now, but I feel like yeah. I haven't seen it in the Pokedex before. Yeah, that's fair. Also, a Zatu. Nice mon. Just in case anyone was watching my perspective and like, he didn't check shit. <laughs> I called that bluff. <laughs> I'm going straight to the gym, which is a horrible idea, but fuck it. Well, I mean, that's where I'm at right now. How bad can it be? You can skip most of the trainers. I know you won't, but I mean, I skipped two of them. And then I got into a double... Possibly go a wrong? sort oh, of double battle. This gym had like a bunch of animations for how all the shit moved, so it's probably going to look real bad as you navigate it. Because they mean? probably didn't animate it. Well, there was nothing. Oh, they changed the layout. Oh. Yeah, this is the Emerald layout, I believe. Oh, I keep forgetting of the Emerald was different. I don't think I played Emerald very much. I think that's what happened. This is just like a little double battle thing. Yeah, yeah, they changed this all. Oh, that's a shame. The Ruby Sapphire version of this gym was cool. I think, that's no, I think, shame. I think this one in the original or in Emerald, there was like let. You had to push like lever things to move around. It and... was like um, three-sided walls. You had to like move them in a way. 
yeah. to create a path for you. I think that was still there, but they I think they removed it in this in MMO. They might have done, yeah, just because like setting that up could have been complicated. Also, yeah, you know. can literally just battle two trainers and skip all the others. I did notice because I went to take a little peek at the gym's layout to see if there was anything further on before right. I would have to fight someone. That, yeah, you can go pretty far in. I'll revive my uh, Snorlax. It did die. I'll use potion on it. Well, no. Uh, does I have 20 super I notice scares me. I don't want to fight that Altaria. <laughs> I really don't want to. That's fair. I mean, I, I'm gonna basically eat the uh, whatever. Yeah, let me try the stone thing that since you mentioned that. Um, it would have no effect. What about the other one? No effect. Yeah. Dang. That darn Pokédex ruins everything. Oh, blue. All right, I guess I could. I mean, I can evolve it now at 29. I mean, it's already about 25 through, so I'll just let it lead for now, and then I'll use some thunderbolts and whatever, and I'll kill the birds. What an incredible team of Swablus this trainer had. That was a really fun sequence of just hitting every single one with thunderbolt immediately. <laughs> I always love uh, Winona's right. Her design was always cool. I think I remember it, and I think I agree. Oh, Atropius? Elegant. Nice pick, Bowser nice pick. Bird Pokemon. No such thing. Birds aren't elegant, they poop everywhere. Haha, uh, -ha. how do you like my Magnemite with Sturdy? Now the tables turn. I need to be right back, because I just realized... It's been four hours since I put down that spray earlier, so Blackjack can stop being shut in a room. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds good. Having to roll out. Oh god, that's not a lot of HP. Wow, that's... that's... wow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch here. I think Marsh Top might be a decent. No, wait, no, that's flying type. Uh, Deli Bird? Yeah, Deli Bird would be good. Yeah, this will be a decent matchup here. Okay, there we go. He did not even react. I opened the door, I'm like, hey, you can come out now, and he does not care. <laughs> he was just happy to be alone. <laughs> I think for Hoenn, I've decided to use Walrein, Altaria, Hariyama, Claydol, Cacturn, and Survivor. Yeah, it's not a bad team. There's not, not a single starter in that list. SMH my head. <laughs> uh, let me see. Marshtop, what about you? Well, Skarmory is kind of like a wall for my team. I was about to say, like, really, you're not going to use, like, Dusclops. I feel like you'd really like Dusclops. But then I thought about it, and I'm pretty sure you don't get Dusclops until, like, near the seventh <coughs> gym. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so late into the game. Oh, my God. It's Scarberry. Um, It's probably going to use a heal item, so I'm going to use a heal item myself. I'm going to go heal as well. Not use an item, though. I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. That's fair. Very fair. How much experience to slow Swarm Fire? 916. All right. See, I used my I'm Super Potion. Did you use your while. Potion? No, actually. I used Aerial Ace. Interesting. Saving Dust North of Center makes a lot of sense. Well, it just killed itself with my Rocky Helmet, so that's a dumb AI move. Dustnor for Sinnoh. Good pick. Good pick. I always forget that Dustnor was a like a Gen 4 edition. For some reason, those stick with me. I remember them all. 
yeah, it's just like I always remember the first two, and I always like I always thought they all came together already, like all as one. But no, I can remember very clearly what Pokemon come from one to four. But after that, I just don't really remember them. That's like fair. The, the, they become a bit more blurry from what region they belong to. Um, <clears throat> I think generally I can tell which ones are from five, but like six onwards, because uh, they don't add as many in each region anymore. I think it just makes it harder to remember which ones come from which. Yeah, recently I I did a count of like how many legendaries are in every Pokemon game. Every new game adds so much more legendaries like after every other gen. It's crazy. Like like I yeah, uh, let me look. I have a Discord open at least. I know uh, 7 had way too many. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Where did I write this here? I, I did a whole uh, there are constantly like there are, the Pokemon like G Gen 6, Gen 8 and Gen 9 are like fairly familiar to me. There are still Pokemon from 7 that when I see them I I, I don't even know if they're real or not. So Gen 1 has four legendaries. Gen 2 has five legendaries. Gen 3 has eight. Gen 4 has nine. Gen 5 has nine. Gen 6 has three. Gen 7 has 11. Gen 8 has 14. Gen 9 has 11. What? Yeah. Jimmy has 14? Yeah. 14 legendaries. Are you counting Ultra Beasts for seven? Uh, seven, no. Pretty sure, no. Because Ultra Beasts should technically be counted. No, they're, they're technically not considered legendaries at all. Wait, why? Because they're they're not. They're oh. <laughs> I guess like the, they don't have like I'm pretty sure they forms in nine. Yeah, that's basically the same sort of concept. They they originally I um how was it? They originally were within the code classified as legendaries, but that was just a like a category of how they're trying to display them. However, they are technically they were that was changed later on. They aren't legendary at all. They're just normal Pokemon in a way. Um, like even for example, uh, what one was it? Poipol. That's technically a starter Pokemon. It's not officially, but the the lore of it is that it is a starter Pokemon from another universe of sorts, or another world. Oh. But yeah. Um. Yeah, they're normal Pokemon where they come from, basically. Yeah. Except for, like, Guzzlord. Guzzlord is... I mean, yes, it is a normal Pokemon, but it's a normal Pokemon that literally ate the whole world that it came from. Like, it destroyed everything out of it. It's like... Sounds cute. I'll have one follow me around in Pokemon mode. <laughs> I love its anime cry. It's this... Ah! As, like, human voice. Just, like, screaming. Oh, that was the one that people thought was, um... Aaron, Aaron Hansen. I, re I remember that one. When it came out, people just thought it was him doing it. <laughs> also, I think Winona killed me. Oh, you I thought you'd already beaten her. No, no, no. I was struggling here. Shit. I don't like hearing that. If you're struggling against Winona. Yeah, I mean, it had a lot of counters to my team, so... I think after I get like Magnemite like leveled up and all that, it might be a little better, but yeah. Yeah. It killed me. I I killed two of their mons, um and I didn't see one of their mons, I think it was. So Oh no, she's using potion. She's bagoobering really high pitch in my ears. Yeah, bagooba bagooba. Bagooba gajoo. For those too young to know, that was a Beatles reference. Yeah, I didn't actually catch that reference at all. <laughs> I don't know anything about... Wait, you said Beatles, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I do know that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the little Fucking lighter hell. one. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you were referencing the Beach Boys. I, I don't know. My bra You said Beatles. <laughs> my brain registered it as 
uh, Beach Boys and then like doubled back and went, that's not what he said. <laughs> uh, that was crazy. All right, I'm going to use a... I think it's just because I, I was expecting you to say Beach Boys. Yeah, that's fair. I'll see that. Uh, you did man. make a whole game where Mike Love was a villain, so... Yep, and had uh, basically two songs that's shitting on him. Yeah, you told a lie at the end of the song. <laughs> well, that that's a bit. That's a Vinny bit. Oh man. Well, I mean, I can't. I can't say it's true. I can't say it's wrong. Not true at all either. So you never know. I mean, it could have happened. That's. <laughs> hmm. It's also technically a Norm McDonald joke, which is what Vinny took that bit from. All right, so you know Face she that. hasn't hurt herself in confusion once. <laughs> Come on to you. There we go. So, Not once. <laughs> <laughs> Very suspicious. Uh I still wonder, I mean, a contest has to be in because there's literally like contest ribbons on the Mons summary. So, can't wait to get there. I always love the... Uh, I never, I never ever did them, so I don't, I don't really know if I'll even bother this time. Yeah, I mean, I love Gen 3 contests. I'm hoping it's Gen 3 and not Gen 4 that they have. So I really don't like Gen 4s. Gen 4s overcomplicates it. I mean, I'll say I say that, but Gen Three also has like overcomplicated stuff in it. So, please don't use a flying move. Please don't use a flying. Okay, Iron Head, good. All right, here we go. Rebattle. battle this time with a Magneton. I should have. I should have got brought like a fire type, but you know, for the trophy. Scamry has leftovers. Yeah, that was an issue. Use a little bit of a try attack. Ooh, paralyzed them. Nice. And wow, that Robius hits like a hammer. Uh, Swallow is a very fast Pokemon. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. Come on, I couldn't proc to paralyze. Like, really. I'm gonna use a potion. Fuck it. Let's try not to, but um, let's go Deli Bird. Sometimes you gotta. It's like and... they say, a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. Nice punch it. This should kill Tropius. It does. Good. That's one wall out of the way. I don't even know what move I just used. I was mashing A and not paying attention. I'm actually using my mouse for this. Like, for more serious battles like this, I like to use the mouse because then I'm like, you know, I'm a little more cautious on this. Um, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I'll use Snowscape to set up some snow. U turn. Oh, you sneaky fucker. And Ice Punch. Ooh, nice. This should be a one shot. Yes. I Ooh, made... you made my Thunderbolt stronger with your rain. I froze Skarmory. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, she's down to one Pokemon for me. I just got to get rid of this fucking Swellow. That was like a really good proc because, you know, freezing a Mon is like really low percent. So, and doing that on Skarmory, that it's gotta makes be a one everything shot. nice. It survived! Oof. I fucking hate this Swellow. Get out of here. All right, Marshall. All right, we're almost done. Scarmy's almost dead. Literally, just have to hit it once. Suff. All right, and they withdrew. So they withdrew. Oh All right. Yeah, Hariyama is uh, is pretty relatively like normal height for a person. <laughs> that was pretty fucking rough, but we made it, and and I even get anime style fucking pokemon evolution after it wins the battle hell yeah very nice and my game froze okay now it's back i loved how everyone was like 
like crazy surprise when there was like an evolution mid battle in the, the Vinemon thing. Yeah, been, that was a hell of a reaction. <laughs> they, they were like, what? I'm I like, don't think it was made clear though, because like chat was reading into it as like your opponents can do it, but it's like you can too. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I mean, if it, it implies if the opponent can, you can do so. It's just, uh, yeah. I mean, Vin is not going to be able to like level up his mon in a battle like that. So it's like, I mean, I we could have really technically. Of, he didn't really play a lot of battles. So. Yeah, I mean that's that's why we gave him the options. He literally asked for that sort of stuff. Like, can you allow me to skip battles? I'm like, yeah, we could do that. You can work that in. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. That's the thing that would have probably eaten up too much time otherwise. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's why we also, like, remove, like, encounters and the, uh, the, uh, clown vomit and all that. Because that, that would have been, like, annoying for him to go through, walk around, and, like, not really explore well. Because you have all these, like, mons popping out of the clown vomit. <laughs> Ariama is seven foot seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not normal, Lizard. I don't know why you said that. <laughs> well, I, I'm saying, like, it's only six inches yeah. taller. I mean, he's, he's, they're a sumo wrestler, so it's, like, usually sumo wrestlers are, like, sort of, like, the same sort of height as, like, basketball, like, sort of players. I mean, it's not normal normal, but it's, like, normal for what they're king? trying to classify as. All right, swallow time. This cave. What is this? Is it, is it, should I be going in this? That might be, um, is it the cave that's on the lake? Is there going to be a ghost in here? If it's the cave on the lake, that's a Reggie cave. Oh, I just got sunny day in it. There was nothing else in here. Yeah, you have to use a specific thing if you use the braille in it. It's just a Suicune head poking out of the grass. <laughs> Of course, someone with that shiny for alligator. Gotta let everybody know. To be fair, it is a cool shiny. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The the different blue on the blue is is a nice, nice detail. Mhm. Mm I think I might be I able to think, kill them. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I have anything. Yeah, none of my stuff can that. Oh yeah, that's right. When I get flag on, I can. Uh, Holy fly. moly! Uh, it's in the fucking name. I don't think Vibrava can learn fly. I might be able to. This Swellow just killed my Snorlax in two hits. Oh, wait, no. That didn't. Swellow is insane. Actually, no, that Swellow just, like, accidentally, like, threw. Because it, it tried to use a move that does less damage to KO me, but it actually left me with 3 HP. When its other move basically took me down to, by 75 HP. That was crazy. Chat, did I fight these four trainers, or do they just not battle you? Because I don't remember coming down here. Yeah, it's pop. It's yeah, we know it's a slightly different blue, but this this the actual back scales are a dark blue. They're not red anymore. That's what the uh, difference was we're talking about. I like that I keep previewing all these bases and then going nah to every single one of them. <laughs> I'm never gonna go to a single one and say yes, not one. All right, so I am it's going to... It's just too expensive. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do any base stuff. I'm going to use Revive since... Snorlax, I think, Wait. tanked really well. I've Solteria. definitely not fought any of the trainers here. What is going on? Why are none of them battling me? Oh, God. Five Mighty Enes against a God of War. Get me the hell out of here. All right, here we go. So let's uh, use this. Let's... <clears throat> All right. Oh, no, there's the Reggie cave. I see it in the corner of the screen. That's where I remember it being. Fuck off. High ass encounter rate. Taking a single step and getting jumped. What was All the right. new obedience level after I got the gym badge? I didn't actually check. You can check on your trainer card. 44. All right, so... I don't think anything's that close to that. Will this KO you me? Know, it's fun. my KO me, and I might lose. Let's see. I might put a Razor Claw on Snorlax in the future. What? No, wow. Okay, that did barely any damage. 
what none of these trainers like implemented was this is this another feature they left out this is so weird none of them want to fight me and it's kind of making me feel strange all right yeah i died here okay i understand now what i need to do he's he's grabbing he's grabbing his glock <laughs> Something about the way he said, I understand what I need to do. It's just so <laughs> ominous. It is, it is. Um, I'm probably going to be buying a TM and using a TM to teach some stuff. That's my uh, my Glock. Yeah, close enough. Alright, so what should I buy here that will help me out? <laughs> yeah, starting by villain arc. <laughs> Wanting to get now, some decent do. frost breath. What does this do here? The user blows a cold breath on the target. This attack always results in a critical hit. Yeah, I'll buy oh, that. We should move into these caves. We could be neighbors. I could do that. It, once I get my TM after I battle this. Um, I need to sell something. Oh, this one requires a fucking bridge, though. Uh, I don't Star think we piece. can do that. So the star piece. To be fair, the, the, the tree where I made my base, um, you can just use the slot next to that. Well, what does one water stone cost a thousand while the other one costs five hundred? Uh untradeable, I think. Why does it impact the price? Which one is I think the I think the tradable one is less, right? The untradable is less. Oh. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know then. Um, to battle again? I've never battled you. I've not been here. Are you what sure? What is happening? Are you sure? I literally I got to Stephen. Uh, he gave me fly, and then I think I just immediately turned around and went to the gym. I didn't come down here. I'm sure of it. Sell my great balls since I don't need any more great balls. All right, now I can buy another TM. Did I, did I come down here and I just like blacked out? Like, what's going on? Actually, let me sell a I few have, TMs. I have no recollection oh, of this place. Did I inhale too many fumes? I don't sell much. All right, I think I'm good here. Actually, I got some uh, decent fire TMs. I saw. Overheat. Let's see. None of my mons can learn that. Okay, never mind that. How about... Oh, sunny day won't do anything for me. Yeah, untradeable, unvaluable. Draco Meteor, what can I do with this? No one can learn that. Okay. Uh, I sort of wish one thing this game had, which I don't think it does, is this a type chart built into the game? So I could just like click on it, look at it real quick. I know, like, that's a thing that you sort of should know, like, just off the top of your head, but, you know, sometimes I forget that stuff. Oh, um, fair enough. let's see. I mean, I guess I could not learn. I mean, I could forget drill packs, so let me do that. Let me look. Uh, I think my game is broken. Why? What's happened? Just the fact that everyone, like, all the dialogue for the NPCs I got to, they're like, oh, maybe I could do better next time. What it's like, I've never steel... spoken to you. What is Skarmory week two? So that is my main issue right now. Just fire? Electric and fire, so... Oh, no, I don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is electric fire, right, right. Then what... Mm -hmm. Bop, bop. Alright. Let's see. What's this one look like? No electric TMs looks like I have. Oh. It's pretty lame. Let's see if you sell any electric. There's that many different floor layouts. I think I can stop checking every single one. Charge beam. The user attacks with an electric charge. The user may use any remaining electricity to raise its special attack stat. I mean, Wait, that sounds one, sort two, of one. good. It could be a steamroll move. 
What's this bit in the middle here? I don't remember this What can I sell? Right I mean, I could sell these two normal repels. They're kind of crappy. Can this one actually battle me? Yeah, okay, cool. We're doing battles again. Hip, hip, wow, hooray. that's the original Hex Maniacs. I forgot about those. Oh. I'm so used to the infamous version of them that I forgot that they were originally, like, just little witches. All right. Now let's buy that thing. I also really hate a lot of that fan art because it's like, it's not what they look like at all. They all they over yeah, drop. but moo moo milk. That's the whole thing. That yeah, I know that, but it, it was one still... NPC that speaks about their milk. It's like, jeez, ruined it. Stop it! Oh my god, Sableye, you're about to get out of my team. I'm sorry. I gotta use shop it. All right. I forgot about Binet. Charge beam. I have a Binet flush. I'm a big Binet fan. I was really happy when Mega Bennett was a thing. Yeah. It was a good design. It was. I mean, I... Is Charge Beam better than Electro Ball on a Magneton? Absolutely. Get... No, I don't know. Because Electro Ball is about speed. My Magneton is a 62. I don't think that's good speed. Let me compare it to the other mods I have. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because Charge Beam is r boosts a special attack. And my special attack on it is really good. On uh, Magneton, it's 85. So giving that extra stat buff... Yeah, it's a little slow for Magneton, so... I've just been rocking with it for a little bit, because it was just, you know, it looked good. It was played well for what it was for early game. So, yeah, I'll do that. Um, what else did I buy? Oh. Alright. Aura does any of my mods not learn that? No. Have a good look at my precious Pokemon. Never! Alright, I think we're I'm covering we're my eyes. That's the sound of a. Uh... I don't know, what is it? Oh, Kecleon, okay. <laughs> Why'd she tell me to have a good look at her Pokemon and then send out Kecleon? That's kind of a... Because you can't normally see it. Hmm. I think it might just be because she's the trainer class beauty and she's feeling it. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Winona, you're going down. Should play. Uh, oh, look at it. Look, look at you. You stupid. You send out Skarmory when I had my Magneton coming out. Oh my god. Elizrin, you need to go full AMV and play. You're going down by sick puppies over your battle. <laughs> nah, I'm good on that. <laughs> <laughs> but it would make for a great bit. I mean, it would ruin your VOD, but it would make for a great bit. Yeah, I mean, it would. Also, yeah, this was a way good idea. Because I just killed Skarmory in two hits, and it only did, like, less than ten damage on me. I think Ryan has a question for you in the chat, by the way. Uh, was, can uh, you tune your explosion to onto Lax? Um, I could probably do that. I mean, I could buy... I think I either I know explosion already or not know, but I have a, a TM, or I can buy it. Self-destruct as well, I think I could buy. Either or. I forget which one that guy was selling. Holy right. shit, I forgot the Safari Zone even existed in Gen 3. Uh, yeah. Forget the design of it, though. I don't think, I don't think there's anything special in it. It's just a random-ass building. Alright, uh, Altaria... Snorlax, I think, can tank pretty well, so I'll do with that. So I'll roll out on Altaria, because I do decent damage with this. I don't know if there's anything special left going into the Safari Zone 4 in this game, but normally, I'm pretty sure nothing. I think there is something. I just can't think of it right now. You know, it took this fucking long for me to realize, by the way, there's no day and night cycle in Hoenn. Oh, yeah, no. Like, I would have thought maybe they would have added it. Also, Ateria is down. Killed it. Thank God. 
No, no, no. There is, technically, because buildings turn their lights on. Right, but, like, there's no, like, dark version to, like, be like, it's nighttime right now. I think it, it dims slightly, but not too much. It's hard to tell with the, uh, the, like, orange leaves and all that. But I think it is actually, like, there is a day and night. I think it's just the fact that since it's summer, the orange does not look like it dims. Why do I keep checking these bases? I'm not going for any of them. I don't know why right. I keep doing this. Now that uh, Snorlax is down and Magneton is down, I can take on Tropius, and I have a Deli Bird, which will do a Frost Breath, which will do a crit on it. Oh, which will... Super effective, this, a critical hit, battle is changing. and a one-hit KO'd him. Hell yeah. This is what strategically, like, you gotta think about this stuff, and it works. Hell yeah. Alright, you set up rain? Well, I'm setting up snowscape. How about that? Cancel out your rain. And now, I'll do Frost Breath, get that crit in. I avoided the attack. Ugh. Of course. All right, you Deli Bird's out. That was? Uh, was that Nuzleaf? No, it's Spindle. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, Miss Nido can uh, mop up the rest here. Use a little bit of Dragon Pulse. My team of Blaziken and God of War. I'm a furry's delight. <laughs> Holy shit, there's so many people coming in from the left. What the fuck is happening? Who are all you people? <laughs> what is happening? I'm getting swarmed. They're all there to see Jitch. Do you see this? I don't What's know. What's going on? <laughs> what is. What? All They're right. all like coming from the right in like a line. What the hell is right, going on? If I need to. Is that like some like big streamer playing this right now and they're all like following them? Uh, it could be a, <laughs> an admin maybe, or maybe there's a, uh, what you call it, a, uh, a raid, not a raid, but a swarm. I want to follow them. I want to know where they're going. Where are they all going? What is happening? What what's happening? Wait, why are there Marils and Azu Marils just walking around in the overworld? Uh it's a swarm. Uh Yes, yeah, so that's what they're all running towards. Ah oh, god dang it. I think I'm gonna lose. I had a good sweep going on, but then yeah. Right, yeah. There's an alpha swarm. Ah. Uh... Makes sense, makes oh. sense. There's a special Azumarill. I'm gonna try and get it. Yep, try it. Go on, try it. I don't want this. Oh my at god, all. someone. Oh my god, why is everyone running? Like, what? Like, this is literally crazy. Well, I'm gonna go there too. Because why not? Do I have to beat it first to catch it? Like, I don't know how this works. Oh, well, like, well this channel one display. is full. The channel has changed to channel 51. Yeah, I got changed like 32. Yeah, I'm on 32. I didn't even <laughs> know there was a channel 32. I think it makes it just in case something like this happens. Yeah, people are losing their minds over this. I wonder if um, Pika Blue was a... Uh... Inspired the name for Swablu. Wait, Giga Drain doesn't affect it? Why? What the fuck? Might have... Why didn't Giga Drain do anything? Does it have Sap Sipper? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know how the... Uh... I, I, didn't, I didn't catch what came up. It was on screen for like two seconds. So do I have to? I I I've never done one of these. The thing is, I don't know if I have to like knock it out. You gotta you gotta to... catch it. Can I just throw a ball at it now? Yeah, pretty sure. I mean, just try to throw a, a light one, like a normal Pokeball. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, yeah. 
So you did catch an Eevee that way. Oh, I got two. Filled with wild might. Oh boy, it just boosted all of its stats. And then used bulldoze. What the fuck? So can they literally just like leave and not do the gym until like... Like, I'm going down this way. So technically, since it's only being top fly. Yeah, you can. I think you can put off the sixth gym for quite a while. I don't want to fight this Azumarill anymore. I, I want out. I want out right now. It's going to kill my whole team. Fuck it. It's not worth it. It will return in two minutes. Well, it can stay there in two minutes. I don't want anything to do with that. The thing is scary. All right, I'm heading on through. Are you seriously going to try and catch it? Yeah, I am. I'm trying to head on down. See where it's uh, at. I don't want anything to do with that. I'm Let's... sure it's very cool and everything. Like, it's a great accomplishment. I'll probably, but... like, Master Ball it or something. I guess that makes sense. I mean, yeah. I, got, I got two of them, so... You get five in the whole game, so... Yeah. And maybe more. I, I just... I don't, I don't want to fight that. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with that. That was ruthless. I don't really... I don't want it enough. Like, I'm not really a big Azumarill fan. So. Yeah, exactly. It might have huge power, which is, like, crazy OP. Hopefully it doesn't go away before I do all these trainers. I mean, it just came in, so I imagine it'll probably be there for a while. Yeah, probably for like a half hour or so. But then again, the way people were speeding to it, I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. That was so crazy, though, because like... <laughs> You should have seen it on my screen. There oh, I saw so it on mine too. People. Like there, All people right. were bolting out of like the uh, PC, yeah. like the Pokemon Center. Yeah, the direction where Lily Cove is, there was just like a swarm of trainers all just flying out of it one by one. I had no idea what was going on. That was like I thought like that was just like a really big like group of friends that were just like. <laughs> All hanging out or something. <laughs> I had no idea. It's like an MMO raid in a way. Yeah. Uh, all right, go this way. Gee, I wonder if it's gonna beat. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. It's tentacle. Who could have guessed? I like how they put Kecleons in the in this tall grass when you can literally just walk around them. Yeah, but it's inconvenient. Well, I mean, life's inconvenient, so. <laughs> ah, here we are. Wow. How do I get up there? That's heavy. It is. <laughs> Alright, so I go this way. God dang it. Straight three squares, me. encounter. Three squares, encounter. Three squares, encounter. I don't want to fight fucking Tentacool and Wingull. Get out of here. Surskit, well, you're gonna die. I'm gonna have to use Repel. I'm getting sick, sick and tired of these guys. That's relatable. Bah, bah, bah. Wait, why is it playing the like music that plays when you boot up the game for the first time? Was that really the root music for this area? I think so. I think, the, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> or I forgot one of the two. I thought that was just music that played when um, Butch, or whatever his name is, was talking at the start. About you beginning your Pokemon adventure. Oh, this dude really have three circuits. Why do you have three circuits? Have you tried using the triple circuit team? No, I don't think I have. Don't hate. Well, I mean, they just lost, so. Don't hate. Oh my god, I talked to him after battle, he just says dot dot dot. Do you have a Pokenav? 
Don't hate. Masturbate. A wild marrow appeared. Let me check the Pokedex. I want to see what Shuffle it is. I'm pretty sure. So Shuffet's like when the right when you was. battled it, did it look any different than a normal Meryl? Yeah, I had like a red outline that said Alpha Azu Meryl. Yeah, mine is just normal. So let me see. Let's see if I can find the the Alpha one. I think it's like a rare chance to uh, encounter the Alpha one. That'd be kind of funny because I immediately got it and then ran away from it. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny if it was rare. Um, because oh, I didn't okay. actually catch, uh, see the Alpha uh, EV because it, it despawned after like a while, and I only was running into normal EVs. So yeah, I think the Alpha is actually pretty rare. Oh. Sorry, I ran away from it, everybody. I just don't want it. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, hey, I here it is. It. Alpha Azumarill. Okay. I'm going to catch you with my Master Ball. What does this symbol mean? Bag. Morning time. All oh, right, it's the sun with an arrow. Master Ball. Are you I sure? See. Yes. Through my Master Ball. I can't believe you did that. And I caught it. Level 46. I believe you did that. That means it doesn't even obey you yet. Not yet. But this is a really good mod to have, though. It has its hidden ability, which is... What's its hidden ability? Uh, Sap Zipper. So it's an alpha hidden ability mod. That's actually really good. It's not really my cup of tea. Yeah, no wonder why people went for that, because that's a really good mod to have. I'm going to catch one of these normal Merrells, though. I mean, I guess eventually, like, once you finish the stories, one of the main things people are going to want to do, besides complete the Pokedex, is probably, like, PvP. Mm-hmm. And having shit like that is probably really good for PvP. Also, I just KO'd that Merrell. <laughs> Not that that's something I'm interested in doing at all. I mean, I imagine as well... For other players, it's just something they can put on the market for a really high price. That too. Yep. Ugh. Oh, God, I'm yawning now. Don't you start. You know what will happen. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's try attack this Meryl. Yeah, it's not weak to... Oh, well, no, I don't think they have fairy, right? Yeah. Only weak to electric. And let me just catch this uh, normal Meryl with an Ultra Ball. Alright, there we go. Got a normal Meryl as well. This one is 36, so it is within my, uh, I think my range. That's a long way to go. And what ability does it have? It has a normal one, right? Thick Fat. No, I don't like that one. Dang it, I wanted a huge power. I like how everyone is just swarmed where the uh, alpha was. Like, it's not enough to demotivate me, but just out of curiosity, how much worse than Sableye is a Banette? That's not me a question. I think I gotta ask them. It's not gonna be enough to, like, demotivate me. I know, obviously, Sableye is great in this gen because Fairy doesn't exist, so it doesn't actually have anything that it's weak to. Oh, yeah, stretch. I, I, I really like Bennett. I think both of them are generally around the same. That's w Which is why both of them got uh, Megas, for example. Yeah, they both did. That's right. I mean, in a way, I'd imagine maybe Bennett will be better because it evolves. and Evolutions tend to get, like, stat boosts. Maybe. It's not really worth saying, like, just has no weaknesses, and since the physical special split is a thing, Bennett can be pretty good. Oh, okay. Alright, I guess I'll try to quickly catch a... Chop it, then. Don't get me wrong, I like... I like Dusclops... Well, I like Dustwar and Duskull. I'm not really a Dusclops guy. Um... But... I don't really know where I was going with that. Just don't get me wrong. Mark. <laughs> Ray. 
Raihorn. Oh God, I forgot Raihorn was in Gen 3. That's one of the things I remember being in the Safari Zone. Trust Lots is better with an Evio light, makes it disgustingly bulky. What about with an Evio heavy? What does that do to it? <laughs> Evio inflation. <laughs> makes him dust thick. Hmm. I like the Splink's cry is basically just someone burping. You are now picturing a dust loss with a dumpy. Have fun with that. I will. Did the legend say he was going to be right back or did he just disappear? Please make sure he's still on the call. Yeah, I'm still here. Harry Yama, more like Harry Noma. When the fuck does God of War learn Psychic? I'm sick of Psybeam. It's gotta be happening. I mean, I might have a TM I can teach it, but I don't really want to waste TMs. I want to hoard them forever and just never ever use them on anything ever. Just like every other Pokemon playthrough I do. All right, Duskull. Um, try a side beam. It shouldn't knock it out. Yeah, that's good. That'll do. It's a shame I don't want to use a Dusk Ops because level 31 is pretty good. It's not too far off of the rest of my team. I think I am going to be giving up a few levels when I get rid of Sableye because it's level 36. So I think the highest a Shepherd can be in here is 31. 31. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, what happened? Where'd oh, you go? my. My uh, mic unplugged somehow. Oh. Yeah, I, I was like, I don't know. I It was like all of a sudden it just like, it dinked off. I heard a dink and I didn't really notice anything change. So I was like, okay. And yeah, until you said that, I didn't even know my mic was off. Oh, well, I'm glad I said something. Because I, I oh, literally, no. I literally pressed the uh, mute button on my mic beforehand because I had to like burp. And so it was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's not too bad then. What were you saying? Oh no, about I finally found a shuffle and I one shot it. <laughs> oh, that's not good. All right. Also, there is an Azumarill that was just put up to sale for forty thousand. That's actually kind of low. Let me look. Um. Uh, there's there's some. Let's see. Prices high to low. Let's see. That's a shiny. I mean, yeah, I don't really know what I'm basing me saying that's low off of. I don't know how much they normally go for, but it sounds low. I mean, actually, let me search since mine has the hidden ability, so I'm not even sure if that like is unique to this or let's see, search. I feel like they'd all come with that. 
They might not. Because I'm pretty sure the one that I battled had, and that's why when I tried using Giga Drain on it, it did nothing. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think it's based off IVs. Oh, excuse me, hiccup. Ryan, um, do you know if Shepard also has low a slow experience curve, or is it just Dusk Skull? I don't want to be put off of using Bennett. I really like Bennett, but I just want to make sure I'm making a good choice. All right, there we go. Spell tower. I'm trying to get my ass out of here in this place, like slowly. Memories of my darling Skitty, my eyes overflow thinking about it. What the fuck? All right, Team Aqua, did you already battle these Aqua grunts? Uh, what ones? The ones uh, near the port thing. In the Safari Zone, port I guess. Thing? Oh, that that's just a cutscene, and then they leave. Oh, I okay. Don't them, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. I was just, I just got to it. So, Shepard has fast experience, right? Why would they make the two like different like that? I guess because uh, Dust Corpse is like a, it's like a really tanky ground type too, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I feel like I remember getting really pissed off at Dust Club spamming Earthquake in one Man. of the games. Magneton at, from Magnemite is such a good, like, boost up with these uh, moves. That Magnemite was, like, you know, it was doing a little okay, but it was just doing nothing for a lot of the time. Wait, if you have a Magneton now, why don't you go get Magnezone? Because it's a long way walk. I'll eventually do it. It's just I, I want to get a few more levels here and there, and then I'll go back to whatever uh tree tove or whatever it was called i forget the name tree top <laughs> and then i'll take on the gym but right now i'm just oh, going yeah, through oh right I, th I, th I thought you'd beaten one owner and you were now heading up this way nah 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 i'm just i'm just scoping through i wanted the azumarill so i was like you know it's good battle for trainers fast and hard hitting does not slow and bulky no ground type but big bulk right it learns earthquake though right I feel like I have this memory of dusk, like fighting. Dusk, I think Colosseum. Every dust Dusklops you fight has earthquake, and it is the biggest pain in the ass. That and fucking Bell Toy. Not Bell Toy, Claydol. Wait, which one's the evolved form? It is Claydol, right? Uh, Bell Toy. Bell Toy is the evolved form. Yep, Claydol is the uh, pre-evolution. Oh. Yeah, that one's a nightmare. To deal I'm pretty with. sure. I remember Col. Colosseum is one of those games that's like the AI is just that little bit more buffed so they can really beat you down all right so it is reverse okay ladle's the big boy all right makes sense Dude, you know, for some reason, I just forgot which one was which for a minute. There. That's weird. I, I feel it's like Baltoy. Baltoy sounds like more of a like a larger name than Claydol. Ah, ha 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 ha! This is no place for children, least of all you. All right, where where is the on the map? Where am I? Uh, up here. Let's see. All right, so. So I could go south, but that loops back around, so I'm not going to do that yet. Let's go to Lily Cove for now. I will never forget the first time I saw a female Wobbuffet, because right, like up until I saw a female Wobbuffet, I never realized that there were gender differences. Yep. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? why Why is this one got lipstick? <laughs> And that's when I learned. <laughs> yeah, it was a good. I like that they made some of them more obvious than others, because it lets allows you like, oh wait, that's a thing. Also, I love Shuppet's sprite. Yeah, I always thought Shuppet had some kind of association with Celebi when I was younger. That makes sense. I was convinced. I was like, that's that's like that's Celebi. Why is Celebi a ghost now? I think Haunter is still my favorite ghost type. Like it's oh, right it's up there with definitely the most popular ghost type. Okay. Like right up there with Rotom, not Gengar though. I don't really like Gengar that much. My favorite ghost type. Oh god, I don't know. There's so many good ones. I love um, Chandelure. Yeah, that's uh, a really good one. That's probably like my third. Frostlass. 
Frostlass is a really um, good one. I, I really don't see Frostlass as a ghost type, more of an ice type, though. That's my own personal opinion. I think Seraledge is a ghost type, right? Yeah, that's a really good new one. Ah, uh, that's such a cool it's, Pokemon. It's hard to keep the newer ones when I'm doing that because it's like, they're cool, but I'm like, I don't really have too much experience with them, which is the main thing. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's why I have a hard time with um, Gen 7 and 8. Yeah. Um, I must admit, uh, my, my Gen 9 playthrough, I felt really stuck with me a lot more than mm -hmm. 7 and 8 did. I had a, a thought the other day. I think it was yesterday. Or, um, why hasn't anyone made a like a controller for a PC that's the shape of like a Game Boy, like Game Boy Advance? I think I saw you post this. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, why hasn't anyone done this? This seems like a, a really good idea, especially because there's so much of like Game Boy Advance like game market out there that people make fan games and all that. So it would make sense yeah. that people would buy that. Yeah, it kind of would. And plus, you don't um, you don't have to have like a screen or anything in the center. It could be like extra buttons or stuff like that. It's really funny because I had a, a similar thought um, I, when I was playing Rock Band Unplugged, and I was talking about how um, the PSP and the PS Vita are quite uncomfortable to mm -hmm. hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a, especially for a long period of time, I called them a controller, and it kind of gave me this crisis for a minute of like, wait a minute. No, those weren't controllers, those were consoles. And I thought about it, and it, I didn't vocalize it, but I was thinking about it to myself. I was like, well, it is kind of weird, though, that, like, there, yet there, there's, there's no controller that's, like, trying to emulate a handheld. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's honestly, I, I know there are some similar ones for, like, like mobile, like uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color for the, like, phones. You can put your phone into it. So you can use it as a controller, but there's not really one for PC, and that's yeah. It's like I feel like that's a really like it's not a market anyone has tapped into. And honestly, I could see like the custom market for something like that would be really really cool. Because imagine if you could, get, like for example, it would be a shell thing where you have the main component of it. And then you could buy shells to attach to it. And then so people can either like 3D print their own or they can like, for example, buy like uh, shells off the market. And or you can even maybe the compatible with the actual original Game Boy, for example. Um, did you look in to see if no one has done this for sure? I did look. I mean, there were some similar sort of things, but nothing like le legitimately like this this will feel like you're controlling a Game Boy of some a Game Boy Advance of some sort, but for the most part, I saw like nothing like of the sort. Like, oh. yeah, it's like it feels like something that would be a thing. Like I understand there uh, probably is probably like uh, a copyright sort of thing you have to work around, but even then, you could still make a, a like a sort of similar thing. Like for example, what we've seen with um what's it called Analog Pocket, that is literally like a Game Boy Color. It's like Game Boy, uh, like control console thing, but like, I mean, it, it feels like a no brainer in a way, just because making a controller is far more easier for them to do than make say like a whole console itself. So it's like, it's something that I could see like eight bit do would be able to do because I mean, they already made like SNES likes and such. Wow, channel 51 is full. Your channel has changed to channel 1. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Mine's 32 still. Yeah, I'm in Lily Cove. Where are you at? Uh, Mount Pyle. Ah. Uh, so I wanted to get to shop it. Why did you go... Why, now, wait, why did you go all the way up hmm? there for it? Uh, they're higher level here. Ah, uh, I see. I was looking in the Pokedex for where I could find one, and it said they were really common and higher level here. So yeah, I... Thought, I, I well, I literally like well. walked through like two Lily Cove and the grass to the left had a, a shop it. Yeah, I think they're uh, like still high, like mid to high 20s there. Mm -hmm. Whereas here they are more around 30. 
All right, let me see. And at this point, I feel like I may as well just keep climbing this tower because I don't think there's that much left of it anyway. Hello, this is a reception counter for Pokemon contests. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Yes, let me enter. It's kind of weird that everyone in this tower is all like, oh, we're paying respects to our fallen Pokemon. Now let's, let's battle. battle. <laughs> yeah, let's battle. I'm like, no, no, we don't, we don't have to battle just because we locked eyes everywhere. Let's see, how do I... Can... Does this... Does the game show... If they're cool or not? All right, yeah, it does. Okay, so Fly, Smartness, Frost Breath is Beauty, Ice Punch is Beauty, Snowscape is Beauty. Okay, so I'll put Delibird into Beauty. Deli bird. All right. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Wait, is this gonna be a like multiplayer contest? This, oh, that's gonna be Which really cool. Fella. Why does the Sableye sprite look so stretched out in this game? I don't know. It's not, but for some reason it looks way wider than I thought Sableye was. It might be the angle. Uh, this might be. Uh, I might have to wait here for a very long time. Because it's just, it's just flashing. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Press B to cancel. That is, that is not good. Yeah, maybe you have to play against other people. Yeah, let me see. We hope you. Maybe the other tra the other person here is like. Oh, interesting. Do you know you can enter a contest with up to three other friends? Just link up with them before you sign up. Oh. So I would have to be with you. Since we're linked up right now, I would have to wait for you to get over here. And then we could do a contest. You can unlink so you can do it if you want, because I don't really want to do a contest. Yeah, let's see. I'll do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wrong screen. Here we go. Kick from link. There we go. You've been kicked. Is It, it didn't even inform me. That's weird. <laughs> it just disappeared. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Normal. PM Hex. Beauty. Deli Bird. I'm pretty sure it's the bottom one you need to go down. Yeah, yeah, that's what that was the issue. So yeah, you can actually oh, like be with your friends and like do contests together. That's actually really cool. Yeah, it's a shame I don't really like the contest very much, otherwise that would be pretty fun. <laughs> Honestly, this it's not as bad as Sinnoh because this one you're literally just like you you check your mon's moves, they say if they're beauty or not, coolness, whatever, and then you go through them and you use the moves in a specific order that works. It's actually pretty neat. I remember like losing them all because I didn't use any of the poker blocks and then I was like, I give up. Well that's that's like higher rank though. I never really bother that. I just did the, I just did like the early ones and they were fun. Was this lady here before? Oh yeah, I think she was. What's this doorway to? Oh, this is the outside part of Mount Par. I think when you go up there, that's where story stuff happens. All right. I like how my following Pokemon is still with me, so I just have Magneton that's in front of me, even though my Deli Bird is the one that's here. <laughs> I just realized at this point I should just use teleport with Gardevoir to go back to the Pokemon Center. Oh you wow, they even have their own, now. it has its own special UI for this. Oh. This is cool. cool. Teleport right, so... Gardevoir. There we go. So I appeal and jam. I'm probably going to say the snowscape. Well, what's the jam mean? I don't even know what that means. I, probably... uh, I think it's to do with like the person that goes next. Maybe? I'm gonna go back to channel one. Yeah, sure. I'll do the snowscape. I'll do that. Uh, where is my shop? But there it is. Oh, it's holding something. Oh, it came with a spell tag. Nice. Nice. That's uh, that's the one that boosts ghost moves, right? <laughs> Everything oh, so I startled the other Pokemon. Oh, and it lowers the other Mon's uh, hearts. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that is the one that boosts them. Okay, cool. And so I got two hearts. Um, so I won this? that round because I, I basically like... <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so next I'm going to use Frost Breath. 
I should probably give soft sand to trap inch. That would make sense. Uh, Blaziken could probably use charcoal over the black belt. Um, it's just Gardevoir. I haven't had a Twisted Spoon yet. I don't know where you get one in this gen. Um, yeah, I know I got one in the past gen. I think they're quite a bit later in. Do you have them on any of your mods in the, uh, in your PC? True, I might do. I might just be able to take one of those. Use some Ice Punch. Wait, what, what? What What do you got so angry about there? Okay, then. Yeah, I'll have a look. I should do. My Alakazam is probably holding one. Yep. Nice. Had a feeling. Ooh, Magnetrix um, tied with me. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Well. All right, fourth one, I'm going to do a snowscape and I'm going to jam the other So let opponents. me get this straight. You haven't beaten the Four Tree City Gym. No, not yet. I just got kicked out of Channel 1 again, by the way. I'm now on Channel 25. <laughs> oh, man. Is this Azumarill thing still going on? It is. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it must go on for Heck like an yeah. hour, I'd assume. So good thing I used that jam because Pidgeotto used a really good move. Guys, help me. There's a napkin and it's flying behind me. <laughs> so I won Shop that round as well. Really nice, cool nice, nice. In Pokemon Infinite Fusion. What was that? Uh, Shop has got some really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember doing a fusion of Haunter and Shuppet that was really cool. I don't remember which one it was now, but I remember being like, wow, that is good. I actually think I had a Bennett. Yeah, Bennett and Caesar was in my final team. That was a cool fusion. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like... Infinite Fusion is like, I really love like so many of the fusions they make there. So cool. So many people uh, I'm contribute. I'm to plan more of that eventually. <laughs> yeah. I might uh, send you a few fusions that I made then uh, implement. I think there's one that I think would be really fun to add. That's really cool. That I made like a little while ago. But it, it's actually really cool. Why don't you um, submit them to the game itself? Like, I'm I, glad to use them. I'm just I, I might, but I also, like, it's going to be added. Like, I want to make my fusion game first, which is, like, a thing that's on the back burner right now. But That's fair enough. I and, do remember you posting about that a while back. Yeah, and so, like, I want to do that. And then once I'm done with that, I'll probably post it to the Pokemon Fusion and stuff. That way it's, like, unique in the game first. And then, like, okay, now I can submit it through. All right, I won the contest. I got two Chesto Berries, oh, and that's shit. it. Holy shit, this Gulpin's level 25? I'm too leveled for this. Yeah, it's a normal, so that's fair. But so, wait, and I get... Let's see. Yep, I got a ribbon. That's neat. <laughs> so let me uh, check my PC real quick. So what was the level cap right now? Level 38, okay. Wait, what is this trainer doing? Where's my zoom roll here? Gulpin, here Shroomish. What so, baby do you have next? So my zoom roll has two perfect IVs. And those are in attack and defense. That's really good. It's also its special attack is level is 30 IVs. So that's even like that's literally almost perfect there. And then special defense is 16, which isn't too good, but I mean, it's it's still decent. It's 80 defense, special defense normally. Or oh, no, I'm thinking I feel like I'm this looking trainer at this is wrong. disrespecting me. Yeah, I was looking at that wrong. So it has 31 IVs in HP and 31 IVs in attack, and then 30 in defense, and then 16 in special attack. 
and 23 in um, special defense. And then 29 in speed. Alright, that's cool. And at level 50, ooh, those, that's, that looks pretty good. And level 100, ooh, those stats look nice. Yeah, wow. I can't wait to get to use this. Nothing above a single baby from this whole trainer. Why are you here with level 25 unevolved Pokemon? I love I having go through Winona just to fight this one random breeder. I love how the alpha is like huge behind you when you're in the overworld. Oh, you're going to be one of those people now, huh? <laughs> Once I'm able to use it, yeah. <laughs> Walking around with your giant Azumarill behind <laughs> you. Oh, that'd be good. I like how many of the first few streams of this playthrough were us going, why is that one so big? <laughs> yeah, literally. You're just so confused. I mean, I sort of understood like what it might be, but I was like, I didn't think they actually implemented it until we saw the uh, Gyarados, I believe it was. Oh my god, it's another burrito with six unevolved level 25 Pokemon. What the fuck? I don't want to fight these. Oh, at least he's got Tropius. That's kind of uh, I might actually bring in my Typhlosion. Because I do need a fire type. And... Surely you can use any any level Pokemon for a contest. Oh, no, I'm talking about Winona right now. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to... And I might bring in a Raichu as well. I thought you were still doing contests, my bad. No, I did one contest, and I was like, I had fun with that. So. It's not really a thing I want to, like, focus on, focus on. But it is something that I like. Also, I forgot that, like, Team Aqua just, like, chills here. When Lily Cove? Yeah. There's, like, four grunts here just chilling out outside. <clears throat> I think that's your, um, like, progress cap. I think there's something... No, they're not, they're not blocking to... anything. They're just hanging yeah, out. Yeah, but, like, what I mean is I, I think there's, like, um, the the content of the game can't continue until you've done the gym. I think. Maybe. Yeah, I'm headed on back now anyway, so. I, I, I'm probably wrong, but I think there's something to do with, like, that part of the game. Because I think this is around the part where you... We're now getting to the part where you deal with, like, the whole Groudon Kyogre part. Also, it's, I like, like, getting pretty close. I, I w went back into the area where there's the, uh, all the the people are, and it kicked me out of the channel. Now I'm in channel 21. <laughs> I like that we keep getting put in different channels. I know, it's like... We're not even in the same one. Channel roulette. <laughs> And I don't think you can actually pick the channels that we're in either, so I can't, like, join you in channel 21. All right. I'm pretty sure you can only pick between, yeah, 1 to 5. <laughs> well, I'm happy I got my zoom roll. That was a really cool thing, though. This would be fun to try using it, because I do... A zoom roll is a really good, like, tanky mon, so... It's not a fairy type in this, whether that's for the better or worse. No, I, I like pre fairy type as general. That was like my bread and butter. Oh, okay. I never really liked not fairy. a Pokemon I could ever really get into. I had a shiny one in my Gen 9 playthrough for a little bit, mm. but I never I really liked the shiny. Really get behind it. Well, I mean, it's it's very yellow. <laughs> yeah, and I wasn't too into it. I sort of wish it was pink. Pink would have looked really nice. Actually, that would have suited that Pokemon quite a lot. For you as know, many pink shinies as there are, that would have really suited that one. Since, you know, pink bunny, uh, this works. Yeah. I can't remember why I took a Zoomer a lot on my team. There was something I got that I was like, oh, that's way better. Yo, an Absol? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, this is where you find Absol. I'm going to catch this. I love Absol, but I, I just don't need it. Otherwise, I would gladly use one. Oh, wait. Is it, I forget. Does Infinite Fusion have Absol and uh, Zora in it? Let's see. Infinite Inf Fusion? Yeah, Infinite Fusion. 
Infant Fusion has apps, so yeah, it's a special event uh, where there's one in like Cinnabar. Yeah, I might actually send you a fusion. Since I made an, a fusion of Absol and Azora in Azora arc. I'm not. No, no, that would evolve. Yeah, so that one. I, that one's one of my favorite fusions I made so far. It, it came out. Just really do me well. a favor if you can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is no disrespect to Cam. Oh yeah. I appreciate him wanting to surprise me with the sprites that he sent me. Oh yeah, I don't but, care if you've uh, seen if, them or not. Yeah. If you no, I was just gonna say if you could add them so that they don't replace sprites. Oh yeah, I'll try not to. I mean, I'll have to yeah, learn I, it, but I mean I, that's probably gonna be really easy to learn anyway. So. I respect that he's my rival in that, so I get why he wanted to fuck with the ones that he's using, and that's mm -hmm. fine. But I also wanted to experience the game. Not necessarily vanilla, vanilla, but like yeah, as as true as the developers want. Much. Yeah, as true as yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I understand that. So I would like to have the choice to use your sprites, but I'd mm -hmm. also like to see what other ones there are and not miss out on seeing any. Because I do feel kind of bad that the ones he's given me have like outright replaced some sprites that were in the game. That yeah, yeah. Missed, you know, but I think for the bet, it's it's fine. All right. A lead with my Typhlosion, and we're taking on Winona. I think this team will uh, rock her. See, I don't remember if it's worth my while, like, in terms of, like, battling all the trainers. I think it's probably a good idea, if I'm trying to battle everyone, to go down and around. Because I think the trainers below Mount Pyre are going to be a little too low leveled if I fight them later on. Uh, of course, Skarmory has sturdy of all things. You know, just to rub it in your face. Who's one-shotting that Skarmory? You know, besides you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> me. <laughs> but I mean, it's still, it's like a Skarmory sturdy, really? You had to go there? I should probably just retreat God of War rather than trying to. <laughs> Just brute force my way through a shift tree with a god of it's not working. Alright. So now that that's out of the way, let me send in my Raichu. I'm gonna write you a love song. I don't know why I went off Blaziken at one point. This used to be one of my favorite Pokemon. I mean, it's definitely not a favorite still, but like I like it. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I just don't know why I like I like went off of it. I probably got accused of being a furry at one point and took it personally. Honestly, I don't think Blaziken is really a furry mon. Like, oh, it is. Oh, it is. Is it? I really don't see anyone ever talk about Blaziken like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can see. I mean, I, every Pokemon has a community for it of some sort. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'm like, I, I just never really seen anyone like gush. Oh, Blaziken! Oh my God! <laughs> I'm like, you know, Fennekin I just, I just or feel any like of that's that. Something. Hey, why did you go for Fennekin? <laughs> why did you specifically say Fennekin? <laughs> uh, because it's it... a little bit targeted. <laughs> It was. It's the first. It's sort of the starter. That one and um, what's it called? Um, Incineroar. Those two are like the big like fire starter ones that people love. Like and and love. Right. I mean, You're like you know, specifically favorites. talking about starters. Yeah. Right. I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure the most popular is actually Lucario. If you're really curious, but. I mean that's fair. Thanks. Thanks, Smash Bros. Um, why is there two twins here that are red and green? This function is not yet implemented. I actually don't know what those two NPCs are for in this. I don't remember them. Who I knows? I think those might be... There were a bunch of NPCs in the corner of Pokemon Centers that, like, if you spoke to them, you could change your trainer class and appearance uh, if people visited your secret base. Yeah, and that might, might be it. Those. All right, and now all we have is one mom left for them, which is you know, it's crazy. That's 
that's still a very true statement that a lot of people don't even think about. A guy just said to me in this game, planet's biggest mysteries are at the bottom of the sea, and that is very true. We don't know half the shit that's down there. That's technically a falsehood, because we do. Nah. Because yeah, you have to imagine <laughs> if, if, for example, if you go to Mars, most of Mars isn't scanned or known or anything. But what's out? What do we know that's there? It's all covered in rocks. It's sort of the same thing of the ocean. We generally know all the ocean, like fish and all that, and what the ocean surface is because we ha we scan through the ocean water and we're able to detect all the surface stuff. But yeah. It's it's I mean it's a it's a fair statement, but you're really only going to be running into like oddities of like, for example, uh, sharks can sometimes have five gills instead of four, and that was like a whole thing that for example Ocean Gate was into before they did the whole implosion thing. But yeah, want there like a whole bunch of like deep sea creatures that like we don't even know the identities of? Not really, like. As of since due to technology, we've had more sightings of like the actual things that we weren't sure of, like oarfish, uh, giant squids. But we've always had known those things existed because of like documentation of books stated like, oh, this uh, this has happened at this point. But we don't know what for sure did this. But now we know for sure what did this because we have like dead bodies that have washed ashore, um, actual like like scuba diving like recordings and we've had like robots have i'm pretty sure robots have gone down into the marinara marinara mariana trench that was like um like the deepest part of the ocean and known to man so so a lot of the ocean is technically we know a, a good portion of it it's just the main thing is the no no like not knowing like physically being there we've we feel like oh that never been explored when in reality we don't really need to know what's there because we already have an idea of what's possible to be there and not like impossible which a lot of people love the impossible idea okay yeah it's it's sort of long winded in the way but fuck is this guy it's why it's more interesting to actually like go over the idea of like well, so what did I? I think there's a made-up NPC in this house. Uh, where? Trade your shiny Pokemon to me, and I'll give you prismatic pearls in exchange. Ah, uh, yeah. So I, this is why. Prismatic pearls allow your Pokemon to transfer its hidden Wait. ability potential to another Pokemon of the same species. Wait a second, did they? Really? What? what? <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I think I already taught it that. Oh. That's why. Yeah, Who's okay, I was... trading in shiny Pokemon for pearls? Uh, I think you the you, it's probably a mechanic in the game to probably give Pokemon Alpha State or something like that. It said it was to get hidden abilities. You yeah, hidden abilities are... Yeah, that's probably far rarer to have. So what is this? I have an EXP candy. How did I get this? Well, whatever. I hate that I found Scott's house. I want him to stay there and stay. Oh, wait, no, this is a motel. This isn't his house. Never mind. Yeah, he lives at the hotel. <laughs> Does he? Yes. And okay. I got flies. So let me... <laughs> Are you just declaring this? Or yeah, is that's... This, uh, fact... <laughs> that's my uh, declaration, so... Okay. This function and... is not yet implemented. 